All right, so I'm unmuting us. Hello, everybody. Um, Hello. We're still, we're still missing a, a cleric. Mod check, mod check. She's dead. Um, but uh, I figured we might as well unmute because um, I don't want you guys to just sit here forever. <laughs> yeah, I shifted just, around the uh, the BTTV remote, so we got some some new ones now. Okay, wait, hold on. I want to check. I want to try how the donate thing. Works. Oh yeah, I will do this now because <laughs> we're live. Oh, credit. Um, I think it'll look something like this. I test it. Oh wait, do we not have? Hang on, hang on. I'm I'm, I'm typing in my card number. You got to. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> I just realized I might not even have the um the right thing. Do we not have an alert box? I have right to make sure everything there. I just typed in is right. So. Okay, let me test the alert box. Make sure. It's okay. Working. Where's my wallet? Oh no. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alert box works. Okay, great. Well, I left my wallet. I'll make it bigger. Near me. I'll make it nice and big on this screen since we'd have a lot of real estate. Chat, you guys get the right <laughs> half of the screen. Alerts get the left half of the screen, <laughs> and I get the middle. Great. So yeah, so I shifted up a few of our BTTV emotes. We got mod check now. We got dog jam. We got noted in all caps. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I couldn't see. <laughs> Congrats on 100. Yeah, okay. I see it down here. It's a little small for me yeah. to see on the screen. Did, could you guys see that chat? I could. Yeah. I, Should I, I have Twitch open. I have Twitch open. It was it was kind of small, but you can at least see the like who donated it. Yeah, the the noted emote is just um, this is Pavlova doing her thing while they're uh, pretending to do <laughs> the inventory. All right, I made that a little bit bigger. Let's see. That's not bad. Ooh. All right, well, thank you for the uh, John. <laughs> thank you for the five dollars. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You you spoke the username into existence, so now it is. That's how it works. <laughs> Pending charge for five dollars at tip to Grand Morian. <laughs> yes, and the other one is dog gem. So, uh, jam in all caps, but dog in all lowercase. Dog gem. There we go. <laughs> when you're really feeling that that background music <laughs> i have roll 20 on mute what hold on what hold on what <laughs> what do you, do, okay that's that's definitely jay <laughs> what what <laughs> no i have it open right now what's going on <laughs> you don't what? see that what <laughs> what am I missing? Jay, I can hear it in your voice. You know what you're doing. What am I missing? What's going on? I'm so confused. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm so confused. Help. Help me, you guys. I'm so no, stupid. I will not help you. You're stupid. <laughs> okay, hold on. It's it's loading. My pictures folder takes forever to load <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Send pics where it didn't happen. I'm trying. <laughs> it's still loading. I hate Windows 10. Aw, <laughs> oh, Jay got rid of it. What did I get rid of? You know what you did. I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. There must so be so someone good. else in the Roll20 who has access to the Axe Peak tokens. Oh, what? that. Yeah. <laughs> I did What's that like 10 minutes okay. ago. <laughs> <laughs> Here, this is what I saw. I did that before you guys started oh! talking about dice. That's how long ago that was. I didn't see that. What? Jesus. Yeah, I don't know why it took so long to load. I was just making them like run around everywhere. 
Yeah, it was still moving on my screen. Is the thing like well, it was still going? He did move like four thousand feet in a single turn. So, yeah, um, he was just having a good. time. <laughs> thank you, Senin, for the uh, for the ten dollars. Thank you for paying Pancakes Bar time. <laughs> <laughs> Now that we know we can send money to you is a little yeah, dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> I forgot to tell everybody rich. that I even put that option. <laughs> I felt weird saying it probably back when I added it. So I just never said anything at all. <laughs> well, now, now that you have now uh, 100 followers, yeah, now you can be We're like, oh, hey, now, yeah. hey, 100 people. Come on. If everybody <laughs> sends me a dollar, <laughs> come on. <laughs> If everybody sends me ten dollars, guys, I have a thousand dollars, and you know yeah, what I can do with go. that? Better what if street. everyone sends me a dollar instead? <laughs> um, no. Mm. I don't want to send you a dollar. I'm so I'm sad. Sorry. I'm making Hero Forge right now. Ooh, why are the faces so ugly? Because you got There's so many options. <laughs> Oh my god, Jay, I can make Charlemagne. There's a skeleton. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll mail it to your cave in the middle of nowhere as a birthday present. When's your birthday? Every day. All day. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my birthday came and went in the previous year and I just didn't say anything. <laughs> you gotta say it next time, Jay. Come on. <laughs> now that you have a hundred followers, we can send you we can send you stuff. Ooh, there's an option with just no no it's just smooth. Hey, <laughs> that's scary. It's just nothing. But imagine playing a character with like no facial features. Like they didn't have a mouth or anything. They just kind of were there. I would, <laughs> I would hate that. Do a lot. <laughs> Could cast like half of all the spells. That's Since true. You need verbal components. Oh wait, what if you had like. Couldn't um, see anything. Your character's just blind. <laughs> Can't well, like, what if you had role play, uh, so persuasion no, rolls are just pointless. Listen, what if you had a, uh, um, like a familiar or something that could like telepathically communicate with you that could also speak, so they just talk for you. <laughs> I mean, that's certainly interesting. This is a way to pull that yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> I have ideas. <laughs> just kidding. I suck. I have better ideas. I know Fuck. your ideas yeah, are so much better. Yep. Your oh, ideas oh, are so oh, much better oh, than oh, yep, oh. yep. Mm hmm mm hmm I'm sorry. Yep. <laughs> this is what happens when we have too much time on our hands. <laughs> yeah. This is what it's this is what it's like chat in the in the before uh screen. When you guys are listening to the nice music, this is what I'm listening to. Yeah, this is what Jay exactly. has to put up with. Sorry Jay, heart emoji. I'll send you five more dollars. Oh I know how to pass the time. I can talk about Terminator too. No, please. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm trying to. I can't, there's no good hair here for Cecilia. I, I'm just. I give up. I'm making Naraka. Fuck this shit. <laughs> At least she's easy. I miss her. Jay, can we do like a little like a Hearth and Home special, please? For the love of God. What, were you just I'll going on a everybody. date with Adeline? No, I want everybody there. <laughs> Adeline is great, but also I miss everybody else. It's just the two of us. It's Naraka and Adelaide while Naraka gets bullied by Kocha using sending. Yeah. Because Kocha exactly knows what sending. Happened. You are also fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it would be it'd be difficult to do a um a one shot since you guys sort of split up quite a bit. Yeah. Um, it's just them talking to each other over it's like a it's like a Zoom meeting. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, oh, plus, I can change. We have a lot of things on the table as of right now. <laughs> Imagine being busy. Imagine <laughs> having we things got, to do. Th we got to start up Crazy. some of the short stories in the future, which I have three in the works right now, plus a bunch of ideas for more of them. Um, so those will be starting up once we wrap some of these campaigns that are currently going on. I'm really excited for the short stories because I think that they're really, they're really fun ideas. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Oh, also, Jay, I don't know if I ever told you this, but the thing that we talked about that one time that I wrote a bunch of notes for and was supposed to do for you, yeah. um, so I actually lost all my notes. <laughs> um, oh, no. Possibly, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I'll still do it, but if you, <laughs> if you ever need it, just, like, give me a little refresher. <laughs> I lost all no, my notes. It's all and good. I, no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think about it all the time i'm like <laughs> you know that thing i was supposed to do you don't and have to do it it, it was just a, <laughs> it was just a, a fun idea that you offered to do so you don't need i did to. offer to do it but just now that i've lost the notes night. i it literally what literally happened? i'll be sitting there and i'm like ah oh, <laughs> i wish i hadn't lost some notes for that because like i'll be sitting there and i'm like i really should work on that like that's like a really interesting thing and then i'm just like oh Right, I can't. I don't remember anything. About well, it. What are you talking about? Secrets. We're being vague on oh purpose, my God. but um, yeah. if you if you ever want to rewrite any of the notes, remember to just keep it nice and short and simple because it won't be too elaborate. So, as long as it's just like a basic structure, it really doesn't need to be too elaborate. Okay. Like a, a basic structure so that you know the storyline of it, and then yeah. and then a single scene to to act out. That would be fine. Okay. If you can just like resend me like the title of it, it's like vague. Like oh yeah, I had a couple other notes kind about of it that, I, yeah. that we talked about. I think, uh, but I don't remember what yeah. I said. But I'll, I'll try and again. What I said it's again. gone. <laughs> <laughs> just just I don't, just throw it my way. <laughs> I don't know if I gave you a title. I think I might have given you you um, gave an, me... an idea for the author of it. I think I think you gave me a title. Or I don't remember. It's um, it's, it's a flower. I think something. I don't remember exactly, but I might have. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Well, it doesn't it's matter. Just... <laughs> well, yeah, you still have the... you still have a bunch of time because that was sort of on the back burner. Anyway, I have the three things that are coming up are not mm -hmm. are not that. So. Okay. Well, like I said, if you ever just throw it my way, and I'll I'll get on it. Yeah, I'll I'll glance back through and see if I remember what I said last time and summarize it for you if i can okay great because i have a bunch of free time so i can definitely do it very well hmm so what do we want to do if we don't have an ezzy <laughs> Don't you have one <laughs> shot written up? Let's do a one yeah, shot. Yeah, Jay, pull not, out a one shot. Not yet. We designed, we designed one, but I haven't made the maps for it. We don't need the maps. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maps. we can theater just hang out. Never if, goes wrong. If we don't, no, no, theater mine would be perfectly fine. Um, but uh, for this one, I wanted to make some maps. We can, we can just start making the maps right now if, if we don't have an. Yeah. Answer. Yes. We'll just yes. do them right now. Do that now. Yeah. If and Ozzy I'll, and shows I'll read up, off my uh, Terminator Two essay. Jesus fucking Christ! I swear <laughs> to God. Okay, so the one shot was called, uh, but this of course means that you guys can't participate in it because you'll be helping me build it. Okay. Damn this it. is really sad, but. Whatever. So then, what are we gonna do if Ezzy doesn't show up? <laughs> we're gonna build the maps. We're gonna make. We're gonna make the one shot. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, our input. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Fine. Yeah, our input will be helpful, will but help also me, yeah. means we can't. It's called thief in the. Yeah, it just means that you'll know what's gonna happen, so it'll be less fun for you. You could, I guess, you could technically still participate, but it won't be as fun. The one shot that we designed was called Thief in the Night. Oh. And it was pretty straightforward. Nice and simple, like all good one shots should be. Mm. I'm pulling up the notes right now. We did this with chat. <laughs> it's getting to the point where I might hit the the cap on maps again. <laughs> 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 imagine it's like the, the it's a weird arbitrary number so i always forget what it is it's like 1000 and like 18 or something like that i think they just set it to some random number because they didn't expect anybody to hit it 
<laughs> and it's you. <laughs> you did it. Yep. Um, we're at 976 because I deleted a bunch of old ones. Damn. We had to uh, remove some. Okay, so it's called Thief in the Night. And uh, got our characters. I think I might be slightly losing my voice from talking all last night. <laughs> and then I'm looking at the four streams ahead of us, and I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> you might be suffering a little bit, but... You know, I, I'll be... I'm usually relatively quiet on Tuesday, so... <laughs> I'll, I'll just have to fade into the background. For that uh, mini-campaign that I'm a part of. I have not taken a single point of damage yet. We're going to try and keep that running. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that maybe the whatever final boss he has planned for us might change that, but it's the goal right now is to just never take any damage. <laughs> I think you can do it. It's a build designed around mitigation and stuff like that, so it might be possible. If anyone has a shot at doing it, it's Lucy, so <laughs> we might as well go for it. But uh, the boss will probably get me with something. Some sort of save that I'm not good at. But that's why we have Lucky. But Lucky doesn't always work. Oh, God, and that's why we have Portent. <laughs> oh, you have Lucky too. I hate you. <laughs> that's the build. That's the Divination Wizard build is Lucky and Portent. Uh, combining into just, no, DM, you don't do what you just said you did. Instead, you do what I want you to do. <laughs> yeah. You tell you, the DM what to do. And the you DM's listen like, to me oh, now. Okay. <laughs> You listen to me now. Look at me. <laughs> I'm the DM now. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to build like a an opener. I'm gonna try to psych the boss out, and and I imagine he's probably gonna give the boss a legendary resistance because I think he knows what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna try and we're gonna try and make the boss waste its legendary resistance, and then turn around and stun it for a whole minute. <laughs> my god <laughs> i think you can i'm do gonna it. try and i'm gonna try and check the box <laughs> you can do hopefully it. Yeah, i don't think he's watching this stream so we're all good keep it a secret everybody we're gonna try and we're gonna, okay. try, and, we're gonna try and trick the boss and stun them um uh, while we take out all the ads while the boss just stands there <laughs> um <laughs> but he's gonna definitely try to pull a legendary resistance on me so we gotta bait it out first i'm holding on to that portent so that i can use it on the second attempt i'm gonna not use it on the first attempt and make him burn the legendary resistance um because already it might be hard to to save so he might have to burn it this is why you don't let DMs be player characters. <laughs> <laughs> this so, is exactly this why. This is exactly why. We're going to try and see if we can take this Anders Vanderholt fellow and just stun him instantly at the start of the fight. If he hasn't given him legendary <sighs> resistance, then we just we instant win. Um, so hopefully he has given him legendary resistance. And if that doesn't work, then we burn our last uh, third level to just uh, melt minute meteor and just bring down the heavens on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Those, that's the plan. That's the Lucy plan. As for what the others are doing, who, who knows? What if Tavernosh is up right now? <laughs> <laughs> He's not here. He doesn't watch my streams. I can't believe what? that. How? Imagine yeah, not watching your friends' campaigns. That uh, man, that who <laughs> would ever do that? So that's that's the game. That's the game plan, everybody. <laughs> We can try to see if we can fuck up Andrew Vanderholt today. <laughs> Just for fun. He's you trying know. to summon an ancient lich, so we got. Nope, you're not allowed to do that. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Instead, just stand there in a in a dazed <laughs> stupor for an entire minute while we take care of all of your ads. Of course. I'm gonna try and see because it is it is an AOE, so we're gonna try and get some of the ads in there too, <laughs> and see how much we can fuck up. I look forlornly at my silly little Leonin rogue. <laughs> Soulforge 
uh, is lovely, and I enjoy it immensely. Thank you so I much really for wanna... spending. Soul Forge won't let me put fucking rings on my character. <laughs> what? You're talking about Hero Forge. I'm talking about Soul oh, Forge. No, I'm <laughs> no, but you're so valid. Neglect you're so valid. Everything I just said. I'm gonna no, keep up talking, now. King. No. King, keep talking. Anyway, yeah, Soul Forge is great. I still really want to use that Fire Monk someday. So valid, Queen. I was considering her for this campaign, but Jay was like, Who Fire did kind of this? Yeah, I was like, well, we don't want to have two people whose whole thing is fire. Because then, then yeah. you'll just feel like you're stepping on each other's toes. What um, is happening on the map the... in Roll20? Oh, you're seeing that now too? <laughs> also, I'm the cooler fire user. I hate to tell everyone, but it's me. I'm the coolest. Just saying. No, my character Jay, what had fire this? punches. He's going for a run. <laughs> Oh, my God. oh, okay, loud. What's Very What's loud. Happened? Do I need to meet you? No. No, but this also definitely proves that I am the best. Fire We're the fur. I'm just saying. Just say, there isn't. <laughs> I don't think there is a fur. How? Giggle a dog. Uh, they probably didn't call it fur ball. Yeah. I know, I'm trying to think of what they might have called it. Weird because be, because if yeah. if um oh Ugly, god if critical cow. if critical role did it, it's on Hero Forge. Gotta be. It's got oh I could go fawn character. That might be close, but she doesn't have horns. You can take the horns off. Yeah, there's a lot of customization that you can Yeah, use I'm just there. trying to figure out what would be like most similar. Probably the Minotaur. I <laughs> put a smile underneath. <laughs> no one will ever see it. <clears throat> but that's okay. Alright, so... <laughs> at this point, not really sure if we're getting uh, our cleric. Yeah. Have you guys not heard from Still from uh, Ezzy? Possible. You said if if Ezzy was working that it'd be like seven thirty ish, which still, yeah. still places us in the realm of possibility. I don't know. Yeah, I they haven't. Have you sent them anything? Mm, hold on. We open the Discord. <laughs> Okay, what did you use for the species? What is the body? Humanoid torso. It's just a humanoid torso. Do 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 do. Right. It do be kind of spooky though, odd setting. Okay, what is your body? I wish I knew. Me too. <laughs> like, oh, the, I want. The Fear Bulg one is uh, Forest Guard. Forest Guard? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's what they call cool, it. Cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. I love. Go make a skeleton. While we're sitting here. Make a skeleton right now. <laughs> Make a skeleton right now. Okay, delightful. Now I've got that face. That's fine. And the nose is a bit more cow shaped. That's fine. Everything's fine. Right. Find a uh... <clears throat> Do She's got droopy little cow ears. Oh, you droopy little ears. <clears throat> yes, we are approaching Valbella. Hey, what kind of good hats do we have? You got a nice big wizard hat? 
<laughs> everyone's just doing hero forge. Yep. Yeah. Chat, yeah. Yeah. Is yep. it free? Yep. I, is yep. it free? Yeah. Yeah. You I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. want to go do yeah. a hero forge? I, mean, <laughs> I, I wish. It, I wish we could like three way or uh, four way stream what we're doing so that everyone. You can can't see, our... see her braid through her fucking shirt. Yeah, and then we need kind of like a big robe. I think that... <laughs> That's a little bit much. I think that we should try to find a way to like three way stream what is going on so that people can see our hero forges. <laughs> no, That's a horrible possible. idea. <laughs> is there is there anything that means that I can't stream this? I can't gonna, imagine. Are you guys gonna sue me? No. <laughs> No, I'm but... talking about Hero Forge. I'll sue you. Oh, why would Hero Forge? I don't know. People are just weird about things sometimes. It's free. <laughs> Skeletons. If that makes any difference. Terms. Let's read their terms. This will be an exciting stream. Terms. You can't stream. This. <laughs> Fuck off. Like, terms. We have already separately. sued you. Get fucked. Okay. <laughs> I mean, honestly, with the way some things are. Do, 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 do. Where is Valbella at so that I can see? Oh, steal that's her ugly. Little... You don't have to be so mean. No, sorry. <laughs> no, I know. Not I know. You. I know, buddy. <laughs> I wish that I could change, like. <laughs> Let me do more. Eyeballs. Skin color. Oh, yeah. Are you making Ezzy or not Ooh. Ezzy Soots? No. Oh. I see. I'm making Valbella right now. <laughs> Should I be making Sutsulu? It's up to you, I guess. Did you mean to say no? Wait, no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fine. Actually, I will make Valbella. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh, I won't if you don't want me to. It's okay. No, go ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. I have to finish Naraka first. See, good question. Because we've never asked this before. Does Valbella have hooves? Probably. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. He's like, I it's up to you. Like I don't fucking care. Came <laughs> up. No, I... I feel like we might have talked briefly about it. I, I don't think that Fearbolg have hooves. Uh, that's more of a No, I don't think so either. But if you really want them, I guess you could have them. <laughs> Imagine not having hooves. Huh? I can't relate. Oh you, God, you, can set, her... you can set your character's face to any species. <laughs> yeah. 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 Should I make her you can um, make some real creeps, yeah. ten four or seven two? Seven two. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Less material, it'll cost less. Oh, that is right. I did. I did say I was gonna buy this. <laughs> I'm not because I'm poor. Big brain. Here, uh, Valbella, can you buy this for me? <laughs> you know that I will. You know that I will. I don't know. Can, Valbella, can you give me a million dollars? Oh my God, there's bovine eyes, guys. Holy there shit. are. Yeah. Where? It's under, you have to, it's like in the paints section, like after you're done everything. Oh, like the color? Okay. There's bird eyes. Where's Ezekiel? He needs to be here for this. Are they in the decals? No, they're under paints. Paints, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Why are they upside you down? You can make a cat girl. Yeah. yeah that's, yes. that's for after. Yes, you can. <laughs> Your conic feline wow. bovine. Yeah. <laughs> Mix. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck do they mean by mix? Oh my you god! Can make your own color. Crazy. Does Val? Oh, I'm asking myself so many questions tonight. Does Valbella have cow eyes? She's a cow, but um, does chin. <laughs> I'm lo I'm not I'm even referencing Valbella's like token right now. I'm just. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going I, off of vibes. <laughs> vibes only. She does have a tail. I'm going to tell you that right now. I did decide on that. She mm -hmm. has a tail. Cow tail. 
See, Naraka and... is superior because you don't have to ask questions about these. She just has it. That's so valid of her. Just saying. Go I've off. I've seen Quentin. other people streaming this, so we were also going to do that. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right. Seas of Sand. Dude. <laughs> Custom token. Ooh, go back. Skeleton. Go back. We're kind of. Kinda Where's the right. palette? We're looking for a Where's... better robe. That one's... I cannot find an accurate hairstyle for Lee. Can I need, can I need some, some sleeves? No, I so... can't hear a forge. The hair I draw is just good. No, I can't. <laughs> So what was what was everybody's favorite new thing from yesterday's stream? Because you all watched it intently, right? <laughs> yes. I watched a lot of it. I forgot what I got off to do. I was playing Genshin the I whole just, time. Did I just I'm fall asleep? I, am, honest at you. I, I, I think I might have just fallen asleep. I don't know what I got My off to do. My favorite part about yesterday was learning about all the new cuisines. <laughs> I, I was there for that part. I was there for some That was of my favorite. Continents. And also the hot dragon lady. Oh yeah, the, dra- the straight up dragon. You mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's just a dragon. Okay, scaly. <laughs> Listen, if she's, if she's sentient. Yeah, I really don't think yet. you can't you can't get out of that accusation. I don't think it's just a straight <laughs> up dragon. There's nothing that you can say. It's yeah, true. There's all no right, way to fight right. that accusation. <laughs> okay. You're, Damn, uh, these accusations out your got hands. Then. Well, I'm sorry. You're the one who called me furry when I ran up the stairs on all fours, and I couldn't deny that. So okay, you're stuck. Yeah, yeah, I, I was going to say that is furry behavior. Um, also, Vabella, <laughs> the color plastic is. I have no idea what. Forty-five ninety nine, or forty-five dollars, forty-four ninety nine. Invalid queen. Well, expensive. you can get them in packs. Nah, it's excessive. Oh it's wait, it's a pre-made. Yeah, just a big robe. I guess I'm just gonna have to pick a regular it's, old ponytail. Oh yeah, you can get them with dice. Thing. I forget. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh here's uh, yeah. I'm gonna make lunette, but with a beard. It'd be pretty uh, simple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> queen, go off. Girl, no. girl, queen. Who put boss. who put the little the little dash in between my heart? I could. D- um, who knows? On on the map. On the map. Who did this? Uh, I don't know. Oh, an absolute monster. Obviously, yeah. I mean, who would ever? Okay, Luna. Some crazy, <laughs> crazy bitch. I don't know. Do I want to give her the big old paladin pauldrons? Oh. Alien eyes, lunette with alien eyes. You really That's know what scary. I mean? Cry That's really scary. With those alien. Wait, <laughs> uh, no, it's a parody. I can sing that. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. Oh my though. god, this is That's sixty dollars. <laughs> That's pretty good. Wait, I want to holding see. a teacup. Oh yeah. That's Heavy shoulder accurate. plates. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my gosh, that that is pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. And he doesn't hey. have hair, so you don't have to worry about his hair that's coming through the back of the fucking statue. Like I don't even know if you'd be holding any sort of weapon. I think he would just be like <laughs> he just he's just <laughs> chilling. He's hol- he like, holds a heart in his hand. It's just no, a collective of art. I feel like I, I wear plate mail, right? Hand. Color preview inventory. Ch- I wear chain mail. Jesus Christ. Oh no, putting on a hat removes the ponytail from hair. You can take but you can take the, the hat off. But hey, Lunette but, wears a hat. Yeah, it's making Lunette. Oh, we'll just don't make her with a hat. Oh, we gotta look. oh she looks wrong without the hat. It's integral. Imagine having a hat be really important. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Has um Phoenix no. Is he? Okay. Um. <laughs> Leave the call. Call and then come back. That's pretty good. Those are my notes. This this tome is my notes. I might have to make code you. I I'm not getting much that matches. <laughs> oh, she's this a me. human wizard. This is me. I know, me. and yet here we are. I'm All just right, making a new. Does she have gauntlets? I wonder. Oh. I was Do trying I to make her her you, but there's no real haircuts that match his. I might just have See, to give him the I'm emo. Feeling. I might just have to give him the emo haircut to all the day. Like, I s- what about the shaggy curls? Is that kind of called? Uh, <laughs> dual wielding bucks. You can dual wield the bucks. Oh yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> Never mind. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> <laughs> 
No big shot with big dual wheeled pucks. No. It would be, be notes in one hand and uh, some sort of tea. And- you might want to change the title of this because I don't know if Fezzi's showing up at this point. Yeah, yeah it's I was been, thinking about yeah. doing that, you're right. Which um, is uh, upsetting, to say the least. Uh, I think somebody so had to... We'll change it back if we do yeah. that. I was about to tell my Echo Dot to play Despacito because this is so sad, but then we'd get DMCA'd. Hey, Alexa, yep. play Despacito. <laughs> I'm not on speaker. God damn it. <laughs> put me, put hey. me on speaker. No, the, uh, I... the category to just chatting to. Oh well. Oh, Lunette, with, um... a yes! Lunette oh, with a gun. gun. Yes. No, 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 Lunette no, with no, a no, gun. No. Lunette with a gun. No, I think she should. No, <laughs> I don't think she should. Lunette <laughs> with a gun. Let's go. All right, we'll change the stream over to that. Moon yeah. elf ears. This is not. Yeah, I'm gonna pretend like he has big ass ears. Oh, the whole stream. That's weird. That with a gun. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Should we? Uh... What's what's uh? What's my proportions? Uh, he's bones. So buff, muscle, <laughs> muscles, <laughs> buff as shit. <laughs> he's got to be really ripped. Um, how tall? How I tall? thought. You can make I... a character with no torso. <laughs> How tall is Charlemagne? Is Charlemagne was as tall looking... as me is the real question. How tall I are was you, looking Jay? at the shield. <laughs> I am, I am six four. Are you really? What? Mm-hmm. I You're hate that about you. Me. I hate you. <laughs> I hate that about you. Oh, Never talk honestly. to me again. <laughs> Oh, that's so scary. That's so scary. That is literally oh, terrifying. That's literally so terrifying. You're literally oh. a foot taller than I. Oh now, my god. Wow, you just like straight up cannot select most hairs with with a hat on. It just like uses the same base for a lot of them. I said no. <laughs> no, no hair. Nope. I don't have any little. Oh no, no but I do, have an, I do have an attunement thingy. I'm gonna give Cecilia double horns because oh he's Should a fucking a bitch. You can have multiple arms. Fantastic. I have a whole yes, you can. Of... Are you just making a really mess up version of Lunette right now? I, I could. Straight up. But I won't. <laughs> Lunette when Volpe is a Yeah, I'm Ew. gonna make Lunette's final form. She's dual wielding guns in all six hands. Give her gone. Damn. <laughs> Getting rejected when he booked her up, I guess. The fuck is a frog-like torso? Ultimate t -pose. A frog-like torso. Yeah. Duh. Duh. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> this, this morning star is not nearly as big as I want it to be. It's fine, I guess. Skeletal DM. Oh my god, I can give him blazing hands. Man, I'm gonna make his hands all fucking fire. 420 blaze rifle. So Tulio is 420 blazing. 420 blazing it. That's pretty good. He smokes casual. every that drug. I think we'll get one. Okay, so I have a little bat. I have a little pack. Where's my little pack? I'll make them tall. Little bedroll. As he has tall. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, I like that. When you put on a backpack, it automatically, it like raises the hair over it realistically. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. You can also adjust all of that stuff in like finer detail. Oh my god, you, you can give them bad <laughs> posture. If you want things to clip, you can yeah. clip. And if you don't want it to clip, you can adjust it to not. Oh my god. There's lots of uh, little. <gasps> Wide Lunette. You can make Oh god. Wide. Yeah, the, the build is like really The terrifying. build slider. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I can put. I'm gonna put a torch on my side. That's what I'm gonna Why do. Why does Cecilia has big boobies? What big booby? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I right. don't think he deserves it. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do some painting, shall we? You're Muscular already on the painting stage. Jesus. I mean, I don't have like a ton of details to add. Yeah, it's so just. Valid of it's just a skeleton. I have too many to add because fucking Lunette's outfit is way too. Uh, like special designed. For I'm this. giving Sutsulu the One Piece woman waist because <laughs> I think he deserves that kind of humiliation. No, I'm just kidding. Make Sutsulu four foot eleven. 
Who no. said it's humiliating? He's, he's, he's not a manlet. He is a manlet. <laughs> man Chat, back me up here. Yeah. Such is a manlet, right? Ah, yes. That's not backing you up, so the answer is he is not a It's man been man. three seconds. <laughs> yeah, well, there's no. Oh, Chat Sonny, says shut absolutely. The fuck up. <laughs> yes! Sandy, shut the fuck up! <laughs> I didn't want to hear this from you. Or anyone. I don't yeah, deserve I guess, this. I guess this top is close enough. I can't find anything else. I don't I need don't a super. This. Yeah, I think Koja is going to be a lot easier to do, but I've already started Lunette, so. Extra. Uh, Go back. <laughs> it's going to be a bloody skeleton. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> well, no. Well, no shit, he's a skeleton. <laughs> Have him dying again. <laughs> oh my god, so it's really with the belly dancer outfit. He looks sh like shit, actually, so it's going off. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I thought he'd have a, um, a mo like, Load Breath of the Wild moment. faster. <laughs> oh my goodness, the legwear oh. is not loading. I can't Jesus. see the legwear. Half of these outfits are not great. Oh no, you can take your character's pants off. Oh no, put them back. <laughs> put them back. <laughs> no, I hate this. Keep them off. No. <laughs> he doesn't have shoulder pads because he's not. Cool. What if Bella just doesn't have shoulder pads? Yeah, I agree. Shoulder pads are what not if it. Bella right just has no arms. What's he drinking, though? That's shoulder pads are overrated. He's Out drinking straight tea. vodka. Or that. <laughs> <laughs> I think he deserves an art emoji. He's drinking the tears of his players. Over. Ooh, I can put a little... Oh, yes. I don't think Cecilia deserves a nice coat, but he's getting it. Ooh. A little health potion? Drinking a little health potion? Or... <laughs> what? It's... No, he's drinking vinegar. No. <laughs> hey, can I have a sip of that water? It's not water. Oh, vodka. I like your style. It's vinegar. It's vinegar. What? It's vinegar. It's vinegar, pussy. <laughs> I like this coat matches. He doesn't. He's not wearing gloves. I don't think he. Does. Um, what if you I can give your him... character a huge egg? I'm putting him in a skirt. <laughs> no. Oh my god, guys! Such a little skirt. What? You're crazy. Manlet. God damn it! Stop calling him a manlet. <laughs> it's true. I'm gonna start crying. And then like do uh, <laughs> <laughs> drinking poison here. Yeah, just straight battery acid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, time to color oh, shoes. Uh, I, I forgot I about shoes. Really ugly shoes. I knew something was wrong. I had forgotten to give her shoes. <laughs> I'm gonna throw him in a pair of kicks. For real. Give him Uggs. Doing the color yeah. scheme is really easy because this is the same color scheme Yoss. that I did for Lucy. It's Yas and Slay. Alright, all done. Pants. <laughs> okay. That was easy. Oh, he wears boots. Are there any boots in here? Of course there are. Oh my god, eyes. there's his boots! Just kidding, I didn't. They look ugly. No, that's so bright. I'm gonna put him in cowboy boots. Alright. Do they have stripper boots? Here? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, they right. do have a lot what did of I just options. say? They yeah, do what have did I just say? <laughs> they do. Oh my god, I keep scrolling and the they do. They literally, I was joking, but they do. I was joking, but they do. They have stripper boots? They have stripper boots? No. I was joking, the... but they do. No, they can't. Yes, they, they do. They almost certainly do. They have to. Tall laced leather heels, a pair of tall leather boots and laces, and they're really high heels. <laughs> I might just keep them because I think they're really funny. I don't know how I feel about this, but we're There's gonna so many that out heel later. options. Because they know what Guys, people want. Guys, what if I put Cecilia in stiletto? The they real question know what the is, people want. 
Do they have a graduation cap? Can we make Pavlova? That's the real question. The real question I is, can we make so. Joe? I don't, th I don't see one. <laughs> Joe. Who's Mama. Joe? Joe Mama. Oh my god, they have so many high-heeled boots. There's one of them with, like, laces on the- like, little bows on the back. Of course there are. They know what the people want. They know the target audience. Yeah, What's this is the, fine. What hat did you end up giving, Luna? Uh, a beret. The Renaissance beret? I think that's, so. That's not bad. That'd be what I would pick to fit Luna. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see a. I she also see has. It. She also does not have her side curls or bun because you can't have a ponytail <laughs> and a hat. Uh, I do not like how this Luna is turning out, but it's okay. We'll try again with Koja. Is there a lantern option? There is. There is. There is. There definitely is. Yeah. There is. There's multiple. Sinister land. Oh my god, that's humongous. Jesus Christ. Oh, you can mix colors. Oh, These perfect. have to be easy to carry. And they're not. These things are huge. Oh, Jesus. That's like the size of his, like, lower body. I, I, I really thought that sentence was going somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, I my, think we I all did. did. <laughs> but, like, in my defense, I swear yeah. I heard, I swear I heard, like, a d and then I was like, oh no. You did, because I did. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd say that. <laughs> there we go. There's we're gonna not, favorite. we're gonna, Let's we're gonna you. stop talking. <laughs> wow, he looks so realistic and cool. Now you gotta get a little, you gotta get a, a mini of him made. No, that's, you're legally required to. What if I gave Cecilia a gun? <laughs> Here, Jay, we'll donate a bunch of money, and then, <laughs> and then you can get... I mean, I'm not going to say no to people donating money to me, but... He's like, I'm going to say no to money? He said, I, who would ever say no kind to of, money? Uh, what kind of race is there? What characters can we make from the uh, from the world of Grand Lorien? Her hair looks a little funky, but it's fine. I'm giving Susui of... brass knuckles. No, I'm just kidding. He doesn't deserve this. Um, when I, I, I'm Matt, going to make coach make? after this, and I am giving her a gun. He's got a whip now. He's who Indiana think... Jones. Who do you want to see, chat? We'll make them to our best ability. Theme. I like the Croco folk. I, th I feel like we need to add that race now. Croco folk. They're from Louisiana. Because they're, they're, dis they're, they're distinctly okay. different from the lizard person, so I just like that. <laughs> Croco folk. Yeah, let's add them. Let's make them a race. Pancake? I don't know if that one's possible. <laughs> Make a it centaur is. that is styled like Pancake. I know it's everybody's favorite character, but... Where's the skin? It's in there. I know it's in there. Can you... Can you do... Hmm. Can people I like how this her? is what we've devolved into. <laughs> You can do cat girls. You can do cat girls. Do I saw it. Cat girls. There's, there's like the, the fox. Where's the, where's the cat girl option? Well, the, it's not a species. Cat it's like when you, you go to ears, um. Yeah. yeah, you can just add cat okay. ears. That's what I figured it would be. I just wanted to make sure people could make the Unhari characters because okay. I figured there would be like a, a tabaxi equivalent, like the anthro feline one. Um, but we need, we need Nyanhari. Oh my god, why didn't it take that to her tail? There ain't nobody who can comfort. Anyway. Hmm. What props should I give? I'm kind of in love with this. Oh, there's a candle. I'm not in love with mine. Are glasses an option? Well, I wasn't asking you. I'm sorry. No, I kid. I love you. <laughs> but like, platonic. I'm putting a of bunch course. of candles underneath of him because I want his cloak to catch fire and I want him to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really got me. Oh, yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, I wish death upon Sicily like every session. It's <laughs> kind of <What>? terrifying. <laughs> I don't know. It. I just hate him. It can be arranged. I don't know. Listen, like, listen, I'm so worried listen, that you're just going to come in one also, day. I'm so worried that you're just gonna come into a session one day and you're gonna have a new character. 
No, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I like Sutulu. He's a really fun character to play, but also, like, I hate him so much. Like, <laughs> It's because he's such a manlet, right? <laughs> no, well, it's not because he's a fucking manlet. He's a manlet, but he is one. Yeah, whatever. Oh, you admitted it. <laughs> Guys, you heard it here first. Okay, I guess in spirit spiritually he is a man lit. No, Physically he's, he's manlet. Like, okay. I'm um gonna try, what does she look like with a with It's a... not like a I want you to kill my character, Jay, but like I think it would be really funny if he died. <laughs> 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 like like I don't wish it upon Naraka or anything. Like she's great, but I think he's so much of a bitch, I don't I just <laughs> I think it'd be so funny. I think a little bit of death would do him some good. <laughs> Yeah, he needs to be humbled a little bit. He needs to be humbled. You know, maybe he can come back, but, like, he has to be really humbled, you know? He's gonna come back from that? I don't know. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna find a... <clears throat> what the fuck? There's just... Hold on. Hold on. There's some crazy poses in here. What the hell? Oh, you can just make your character dead. That's a pose. Mm-hmm. You yep. can just hold him. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> One day we sh- I Jay, I think that you should hold on. <laughs> what should I do? Sorry. Um right. I think that it would be really oh cool, God, but I also know it would be really complicated if we did like like one of those virtual tabletop setups. I think that could be cool. Could be cool. You mean in like in oh like God. tabletop simulator? Because a, a virtual yes. tabletop like virtual tabletop aka a VTT, that is literally what World Twenty is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, like tabletop like, simulator specifically. Yeah. Just rip it open, Faith. We're not playing D anD D. One of our character, one of our players, isn't here. <laughs> it would. Faith um, is just trying to eat. It would take me getting used to figuring out how to do everything in in tabletop simulator. That's mm. for sure. But um, it would be interesting. I'm gonna make this pose of Sutsu Liu dead. <laughs> yeah, wait, I I know That's you can so make custom funny. poses. I really want there you to be can? a way. Yeah, yeah, I you really, can, I really God, want there to be a way to put them on their stomach so you can put such so the Family Guy death pose. Oh my God! Wait, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, try really it. hard right do now. Do it. <laughs> Hold on. Oh God! Oh God! What if? Okay, oh, no. I'm just gonna take a picture. Okay. And uh, yeah, I've made a noticeably uh, more just... generic version of Lynette. Hold on. This is. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Hi, Valbella. Hey, his oh, arms. Should I? Should I put? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go to through the effort okay, of putting wait. this in. Oh, I I have to look up a reference for the Family Guy death pose. It, here's it, here's here's Lunette's evil cousin. It's Valbella. Hey, hold on. She's Family just God. odd. In a like. Okay, I've got She's the family guy death She's mildly perturbed. Yeah. Elbow twist. Nope, okay. wrong. But this is the wrong arm. Surprise, Valbella. Also, why is Lunette that tall? Uh, oh, or you just that's... really zoomed in. That was the setting for five foot eight. Oh, I mean, it is a little more zoomed in, yeah, than yours. Okay. I'm trying to really like a complex. <laughs> It's kind of hard to do this, but I'm trying really hard right now. I, I hope know, you guys I, know. I couldn't figure it out. Oh my god. How do I wipe my character? I don't want to. Oh my god, I'm wait. done with this. Let okay. me restart. Oh as long as you plastic. didn't save it, it'll just go away. Ah! I tried. I refreshed and it's still it's here. It's going the wrong direction. Oh, it's probably I... oh, no. There we go. So you don't lose your progress. What is stopping me from buying okay. this? <laughs> this is horrible. What is that's, that's stopping me from buying this? What indeed? What is wrong with Huh? I am moving out next month. Oh really? Where? Uh, it's it's uh my aunt's house that is literally right. down the street from me, but it's going to be my house, and that's all that matters. Okay. So. My house for like four months. There's no leg option. Bro, my house in the middle of my street. <laughs> I hate you. I um, hate you. So I tried really hard, but it doesn't work. So no, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't think it's possible. 
Because you can't. Like, death pose. Yeah. Because you can't make them lie can on their stomach, the which is Should unfortunate. Should we just sit in like a kind of fall like forest? We we place? need to petition for a family guy death pose. For a family guy death pose. pose. Yeah. Okay, no dice. But it's a good pose for this guy. Do I don't that, want dice anymore. That please. is a good pose. <laughs> oh no. my god! If I get color plastic, it's gonna be like fifty dollars. Yeah, it's like sixty actually. It's a little less cracky. Who is who is digital three D model files? Oh, I guess so you can make it yourself. Yeah, you can three D print it. Which is like it's cheaper enough. You can also get it unpainted, I'm pretty yeah, sure. And then paint you it yourself. yourself. <sighs> okay, I, I have could. to paint all of this shit. I have to open his fucking character ref sheet and everything. This is ridiculous. I feel I'm putting. <laughs> or I'm I could just get someone to paint it for me. I'm making thief in the night maps. <laughs> yes, slay, slay queening. Yes, if I. What if All I just right. tinge the spikes of her morning star with blood? What if I just? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Huh? After Christmas. So... No, I didn't even look at you, did I? <laughs> Bro, I can't. I don't find... recall doing that. Oh, I found it. <laughs> All right. So, if we were to make a Thief of the Night, we'll need one map that's in the middle of the forest, and then one map that's sort of like a uh, a giant's home in the forest, and then. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> this, oh this one shot can be over so quickly because just like you hear something out in the forest. Oh yeah, <laughs> we'll ignore that. <laughs> oh cool. All right. Well, that was a fun one shot, everybody. Okay, you continue on. You continue <laughs> on with your journey, and you do not investigate the strange noises you heard. <laughs> We're um, not. That's not our problem. <laughs> God, there is and... nothing stopping me from doing this. That's too much. I'm not paying that. And they just walk away. Oh my god. I need right. someone to take my money away from me. Nope. You gotta buy mine now, too. I am so tempted to buy this. You should. You should also buy mine, definitely. For sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just encouraging a problem. I, I mean, I get paid this week. Uh, no, don't actually... I can Ew, I have to make new paints. How do Ew, I save no. it? How do I save it? You, have, you, make, you an make an account. account. Save it, yeah. I already made an account. So. Oh god, so you, you. Save you. it and name it. And then it'll be there wherever you, the you want. Eyeballs. I'm realizing I never put makeup on Lunette and that's why it still looks weird, but I'm not going back. <laughs> what do I feel like? Mm. Oh, there's lizard eyes. Yeah, that works. Hmm. Should we allow them to be on a road when they start? Or should we just throw them into the middle of the no. forest? No, throw them in the middle of the forest. <laughs> you know, just start them in the seven hells. I mean... <laughs> Plane of non-existence. <laughs> that would be kind of interesting. Just like, you wake up and you're in hell, and <laughs> you, part of it is just you have to figure out why you're even there in the first place. <laughs> yeah, what you did wake you do up wrong? and there's nothing there? What have you done wrong? Yeah, there's like three of the party members are trying to figure out why they're there. The fourth one's just like, no, that makes sense. Everyone goes to hell. The origin story. <laughs> I, uh, okay. Dice. Dice. Rolling to see. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, 17. No. What's my charisma again? Don't I have a minus something in charisma? Oh. I have a plus two in charisma. So that would be a 19. What are you trying to do? Oh no, I'm hyp hypothesizing if I could romance um little Triton lady down there. Assuming lady chance, could be a very No, we established we established last time that was she okay. female. Um cool. <laughs> You asked that question last time. <laughs> This happens a lot. Yeah, I don't you, guys you did it. You ask a lot. Is there a way I can just like? To be fair, on? Tritons are pretty ambiguous. Gender like a... 
They're very androgynous, and I love Ew. that. Ew. <gasps> what if I turned him into glass? That would be really fun. He's stone now, guys. Ha ha ha. Alright, we'll make some shadows of the trees like that. I might go play some Genshin again. Not on stream. Maybe some death. We'll Perhaps some nice, uh, on stream. Add I'm a pay his now. We'll add some guard rings. Yeah. Man, we could have just done the second half tonight. Yeah. We would have been done by now. What do you mean? The second half of last night. Like the stream. more info. Oh. I mean, we well, still don't can. sound so disappointed about it. I'm disappointed yeah, because God. I wanted to play D and D. I know. Top oh down. God, the the softness slider <laughs> has some horrifying results. <laughs> Just a little bit. Let's I'm gonna uh, paint his nail. Just kidding, he doesn't deserve it. And I'm gonna put it in a bun. <laughs> it. It's so it mean. Bun. Right, well, so. listen. It's not like he deserves it. <laughs> this is this is the one shot. I just build the streams as you guys as you guys play. Yeah. So, you uh, you're walking. I think that would forest. be so fun. It would. You would have to sit there for ten minutes while I make the next map. But yeah, it's okay. BRB. All right. So yeah. you're walking through the forest uh, with your companions uh, okay. on a journey through the countryside. Um, when you begin to hear loud noises in the distance. Um, it sounds at first uh, just like some sort of monstrous wailing, and then you listen a little bit closer, and uh, it instead actually starts to sound like crying. What do you do? What if I said fuck that and ran the other direction? <laughs> then the one shot is over. The end. Yeah, the thing about one shots, thing about one shots <laughs> is that they are a little bit more railroaded than anything else. <laughs> Uh, yeah. There's basically one path forward, and if you don't follow it, then we don't play the and game. Well, no more game for you. You know, I don't know what I was expecting when I looked up D and D dating simulator, but it definitely <laughs> wasn't this. What? You looked um, up D and D dating simulator? Yeah, why? I do that? did. Why would you do that? We all know the answer to that. Don't ask like you're stupid. We all know the answer to that. Don't ask like you're stupid. God oh, damn it. Um, I'm just gonna individually send the links because this is not. What, what do you I was mean expecting. individually send the links? Send it. I don't Absolutely. want it. Absolutely, I want it. I actually, Soots, I think you might be intrigued in some of the men. <laughs> God oh, damn it! No. All right, now oh, I have to go. Men that don't exist. Oh like... dear God! Yeah. Oh my God! Hold on. It's a lot. Oh, it's, it's like a lot. Yeah, um, they're just straight up exposing themselves on on live Twitch. I don't even at this point. <laughs> hey, I didn't say anything positive. Or I negative. did. I was surprised. I did. Yeah, you Locking did. I I'm did. pleading the fifth. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I plead the right fifth, now. Jay. I'm not saying anything right now. You oh. all are cowards. I'm saying nothing on stream. Yes, but oh my the fifth God. in itself is an admission all of its own. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, you know hey, you're not. Avoiding saying. You are saying... in violation of so much, Avoiding... so many laws. Avoid... Yeah, but I'm not a lawyer. Avoiding saying anything <laughs> is, is informing us that you don't want to say anything. Yeah, you have no fucking clue what I'm not saying anything about, though. So technically, Bleeding I can't be fifth. judged. Um, actually makes you more guilty. Exactly. That, yeah, argument, would, that argument would not hold up in court, Jay. Well, uh, unfortunately, I'm the DM, and I say that in Grand Lorian, that argument does hold <laughs> no. up. No! No, bro. Can't do this. You can't do this to I'm me. dead. You we know, should I all... Sacrifice? Oh my god, there's four of us. We should play Monster Camp. No. I don't know what that <laughs> yes, is. I, I'm just going to say no, just, just because... We should... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think we should play Monster I'm, I am listening though, even it. though I don't know what that is. Huh? Um, I'm listening, but I don't know what that is. No, what did it say? I mean, you oh. all, like it has to be a game that everyone owns. Like you're not. No, just it doesn't. Like, oh, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, I think it, it does. Can stream it, and Jake can stream it. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm making well, oh, an entire one shot right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the one being productive here. Yeah, Jay's doing shit. Uh, we'll 
trying to figure out an accent color for his coat, and it's not really going to. Okay, I am on to Koja, and I am making her final form. Ooh, that's scary. You, you damn right it is. Hmm. <laughs> his shirt is black, I know that. This is the basis. We need to make some sort of giant house. I'm disappointed um, in Boyfriend Dungeon. We need, to make oh, it, we need to make it look like it's not uh, some sort of like cabin. It's a little bit rudimentary. This is not the most intelligent giant in the world. I'm going to change his eyeballs. Good God, this art station. I mean, holy shit. Are you still looking at it? Yeah. No, we saw the first image and now it loaded. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't, don't want to know what you're talking about. Jay, you don't. You no, don't. You it's don't. honestly you don't. kind of disturbing. <laughs> it's disturbing in the sense that the art isn't bad, but it's also not good. <laughs> like, it's like. Like the it's characters really are off so, putting. yeah. It's like uncanny in a gross way. <laughs> yeah, because because like the muscles are just so muscles. So all of the <laughs> line art is done in black, which is like already never do line art in black, kids. It's always better for an off black. Yeah, so like, like yeah. Like, who, who would ever do that? I know you would. I know you would. I just and the names are all really interesting. Name one of them Joe for fun. <laughs> like like I just Oh oh I just okay. I don't like what? that about them. What? The, Why can I not the color the character button? with the fire on them? I just would hold on. <sighs> Alright. So, back to making a giant house. What do you think the giant <laughs> yeah. should have in his little camp here? Campfire? Just... We're done talking about uh, that. An anti-material rifle. Serious answers only, please. I'm about this. <laughs> well, a campfire, obviously. Campfire, um, obviously. Oh, give it like what a fallen kind of, tree. What kind of camp is this? Like, is uh, it just like a little... We're going to subtly funnel the players uh, west and... South, there'll be two directions: one from the, for them to come from, and one for them to go. So, so, so give it like exactly a little, yeah, like a fallen tree that's slanted from the north to the east. Well, I was just gonna put a bunch of trees so that they couldn't walk there. Uh, but well, a fallen, I think a fallen, a fallen tree, tree fits. Tree. A fallen tree fits. And delightful. Yeah, perfect, just like that. All right, we'll put a little stump for it to have fallen from as well. Add some mushrooms. I know they exist. They do. <laughs> Sure. Oh. Exist. All right. Uh, I'll make some mushrooms growing on the, uh, the fallen log too. This is so fun. I'm so I enjoy this <laughs> immensely. <laughs> they were actually going to the assets. <laughs> yep. Mhm. Mm anyway, moving on. All right. Make so what's so what's awaiting for them in the southern area or are we not allowed uh, to they're know? gonna they're gonna come from the south oh so what's they'll awaiting arrive. them in the western area uh, they're gonna have to go over to a cave over there so i'll put some fire okay drifts, so here, down one in um fly garlic in assassin's creed valhalla makes you high and yeah. also hallucinate they are uh they are not Ones that you want to eat, but they look nice, so we put them over. Oh, it's gonna be uh, like the fly garlic is uh, extremely poisonous and would not make you would die. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm aware of that. Yep. You talk to Ubisoft. Well, we'll see uh, if the players decide to eat them. <laughs> That's on them. Besides, if it you were us, so. if they Ubisoft would. advocates for eating. If it were us, mushrooms. that would be a bad idea. If it were us, who take advocates? the cacti as an advantage as example all right uh, so there's some yeah mushrooms oh my god what if you just have like a little like a little circle of mushrooms be like Ooh. <laughs> like a fairy circle like per i didn't want to say that out loud but yes uh, Why? No, what? because we use those we use those to, to slip the veil in between 
uh, the material plane and the feather. I so know. We don't I know what I'm requesting, Jay. We don't want to accidentally send anyone anywhere that they can't get back from. We oh. could. It would be funny, hee hee, and a quick way to end the one shot if it's going too long. It would not be funny. No, because it would happen within the first 15 minutes of the one shot and end it very early. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Like, so what you're saying is we just need to put one further in. Exactly. <laughs> Lunette gets it. Lunette's vibing with me on this. I'm a being of pure chaos. It is not a good sign that I'm vibing with you. Uh, I think it is. I think There's it is and it's fine. To sort of imply yeah. that there is uh, some rock formations nearby. Gaze, calm down. They changed the <laughs> they changed the name to Boulder, oh, which is annoying. The Boulder is conflicted because I just wanted a rock, <laughs> and I don't want to have to search Boulder every time I'm looking for a slightly different rock. But it is what it is. Uh, we'll make those slightly stand out a little bit less. There we go. That's wrong. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> putting too much detail. We'll use some of the uh, we we'll use some of the Fey assets because um, they look like they're made See? out of they look like they're made out of uh, things you could find I in have, the forest. I have good ideas occasionally. So true, Bessie. You uh, never have good so ideas. This is That's this such is, a lie. I I um, hope this figure out a puzzle. This is an Etten's house. So, or camp. So we'll have like a big campfire. And then maybe like a really big chair. That it's like made out of uh, twigs and stuff. I'm so glad that I don't understand how this works. Because I think I would just absolutely destroy a map by putting too many things in it. <laughs> yeah, Incarnate has a lot. Um... It's really easy. Sometimes a little too much. Yeah, I would just make a giant throne room inside of like a giant tree. I'd make Legend of Zelda, is what I'm saying. I'm gonna Tarrasque. Is there uh, a Tarrasque? No. Uh, to is there a Tarrasque token? No. Not on uh, Incarnate, but I mean, you can make somewhere. Yeah. Anything. Somewhere on the internet. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Make like a really big broom. Aren't they like super fucking big too? Yep. I don't like his World cup. Eaters. I've just decided that I don't like his stupid little I don't like the cut of his jib. Me neither. Stupid little Oh my god, I changed his shirt in accident, now he's naked. Yeah, we want, <laughs> we want everything to look really big in comparison to the players. But we'll throw a little bit of the little details in here. Some little or acorns. Uh, oh no, where's his shirt? Uh, Warlock's chest piece. Forest <laughs> atmosphere. Doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna give us a DS DMC to strike one day. What if I gave Sutulu an open vest so that everyone can look at his rippling abs that he definitely has? No, he's a man. And not all of the bruises that Valbella has given him. <laughs> it's, no, at this point, it's not Valbella, it's Ezekiel. Yeah, it really is. Alright, what are we rolling today? Oh, fuck. He well, just, uh, I just take off his shirt. He doesn't get a shirt. Here that we dice is gone forever. I'm gonna make that like a really <laughs> big, make a really big fire. That'll help sell the scale. The oh god! Thing is selling these scales. That dice is also gone forever. I'm gonna go look for that. I'll be right look. back. Oh, I still need to feed my kitty. One sec. Real big. Jesus, that is a humongous camper. Uh, we want it to look big so that the players feel sort of dwarfed in comparison. That is tree is probably just a twig in comparison to the. Um... Painting some extra shadows around these rocks. The here, big Danny. guy. Uh, the campfire look a little bit better. I think Cecilia doesn't need to have a shirt on. I think he looks fine without a shirt. <laughs> and then we'll add our own lighting to uh, light the floor around it. 
Uh, and then I've been lately, I've been doing a new little technique with the fires that I think kind of, kind of works really well. So I'll show that for extremes benefit. Nice bright campfire to illuminate the area. And then what? they added these little Phalite assets that are, are pretty cool. I like them, but I have not used them as Phalites yet. <laughs> I've used them exclusively as little crackling embers coming off of a fire. <laughs> uh, all right what else would a giant have what would a giant sleep in it wouldn't be like a really big bed <laughs> maybe we could do a really big bed maybe a very large sheet of moss possibly yeah but that's like really hard to represent <laughs> yeah you like a little pile in the corner and you're like yeah that's a, that's a giant pile of moss i know it doesn't look like but it is it's got a big old chair it looks like very obviously made from a, a big tree. Some shrubs around just to give it more of a forest feel. Less empty. Uh, honestly, we could just leave it like this and it would be fine. But uh, we'll see what else we can add just to, to make it more thematic. So basically, there's an, a giant who they run into. Um, usually, Ettens are, are villains, but ours is going to be nice um, and he's upset because someone stole something while he was sleeping um, his favorite little object and so the party can uh, go and get it for him to uh, help him out and he promises to to reward them we should give him something to hold those rewards so that they cannot just steal the rewards <laughs> uh, they'll be too low level to fight the end he'll just completely demolish them if they tried to fight him um, but we need to make sure that the whatever he's got the the items in is too secure for them to straight up like well, if they want to attempt it maybe <laughs> we'll let them do it but we gotta we gotta keep in mind that stealing stuff from him will make this a lot shorter and it will be a very lackluster one shot because basically the rogue will be like I steal it and then everybody else will be like cool thanks rogue all right that's the end of the one shot <laughs> And so the the rogue gets to do something fun, but nobody else does. So that won't be that won't be good. We want to try to avoid that. And everyone cries. The end. The rogue the rogue takes full just everything, and everybody just, else is like, "All right, we I moved we'll, five steps." And that's we'll it. just toss like an arcane lock on it. <laughs> and, then, oh, yeah. and then, and then. Uh, or some sort of like strange, it won't be straight up arcane lock, but we'll make it some sort of strange thing. Like uh, if they open the chest, it makes like a really loud noise. <laughs> oh, are we just, are we just doing the, the Hobbit, the video game technique? I think we're doing that. <laughs> there's a, there's a video game of the Hobbit. It was for like the GameCube or something. It's actually kind of a sick game. I, I use a bunch of its music for a Silver Song. <laughs> Yay, that's stealing. No, that's I use you video game music. For, I use video game music for everything. <laughs> what do you think I'm using for your campaign? Oh, <laughs> that's a good point. Video game music is is basically all that I use. I don't use any other music because I don't want to get. What video game music do you use for ours? Because it sounds familiar. Some of the some of them have sounded very familiar. Depends depends what um what, what you're talking about. It's a bunch of different games. Just give me a handful of them. Handful um, of names. This one. If you still have, I don't know if you still have Roll Twenty open actually. I'll open it up. I'll open it up right now. This one's from World of Warcraft. Which one? Hold on. Mm-hmm. That one's World of Warcraft. Okay. Why is one of these um, colors named Cream Dream? That's kind of funny. <laughs> um, hmm. Nobody else thought it would be fine. I think this one is from... From Gothic? I don't know that one. 
This one's from Gothic. Uh, it's just like desert music. Um, this one's from Rogue Galaxy. Can you go to Joe Buck? Um, what's this one? What a good person. <laughs> just hearing voices in the background. Yeah, we're talking about strawberry shortcake uh, ice cream. This I'm one? always hearing voices. I think this is from like Rome Total War or something like that. I think okay. that's what it's from. Um. Hmm. What's the name of this? Is this one? Yes. The Golden Bazaar theme is. Oh, I forget. Remember, because this one is the one that sounds the most familiar. It's um, what's the what's the name of the game? It's like a, a spiritual successor to Paper Mario. That's like a bunch of insects. Mm. Oh, oh I'm forgetting god! The game name, but and it has what? I think it's from that. It's it's from what? Bug Fables. Yes, it's from that. Oh. I think. Um. This one, I think this one's also from Rome Total War. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the the fight music that I use is from uh, Divinity Original Sin Two. Uh, like these ones. Uh, these are just the, the fight themes from Divinity. Uh, the the good part about Divinity is that um, there is uh, a choice at the beginning when you're making your character. Um, you pick what instrument you want associated with your character. And then they use that to play your theme throughout the game. Wait, in what game? Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, so I use, still need to buy that. They use a, a choice of four different instruments um, for your your character, and so that's where you get battle themes that have the different instruments featured. Divinity is amazing. If you like playing D and D, then you will like Divinity because um, it's just it's just it's just D and D basically. It's just like playing a tabletop <laughs> game. game. Um, you can play it by yourself and it's still really fun, but if you play it with friends, then it is just straight up D&D. Because you can uh, argue about plot choices to make, you can uh, do all sorts of things, you can steal shit, you, there's a what bunch is... of different builds, it's, it's great. What is in his hand? Who? What? Sitsulio. Oh, I don't know. And then we got the Tambora version as well. I don't even want to know what that is. Okay. That. I'm gonna disappear for a little bit. I'll probably be back before we end the stream. And then I use a little bit of Monster Hunter music from time to time. Oh, Monster Hunter music I definitely recognize. We hit. I hit you with the. Um, at one point there was the uh, Wild Spire Waste theme. That was this one. Nice. Oh, that, that was when we were in the sewer, I think. No, I don't think so. No. <laughs> it was during one of our- are you sure? Because it was during one the, of our combat. Might have been the undead elephant. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but Monster anyway, Hunter I'm gonna go disappear now. I'll be, right, I'll, I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, back to the giant, I think. Oh, there we go. I thought it was frozen for a sec. Uh, we'll add the, the god rays back to this one. Yeah, Divinity is really, really good. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit brighter, actually. So you can see him a little better. Uh, and then, I might actually... <laughs> when you bought the fish guys on the ship, the... The Sahagin on the uh, the ship out to Lavender Isle. <laughs> if that ever happens, usually refreshing fixes it. Sometimes the music just doesn't play. It doesn't play for me sometimes too. That's I usually refresh. <laughs> but that's actually funny. It's the same thing as the uh, the Kezu in Monster Hunter. 
they don't play any music for the Kezu when you fight it because they want it to be like eerie and then everybody's like what's going on with the, the Kezu music it's broken it's glitched <laughs> <laughs> and so that that became the meme of yo have you heard the Kezu theme dude it's the best song in the game <laughs> and then they go and fight the Kezu just to listen to it and they're like hang on mine's glitched what's going on oh no <laughs> That is pretty good. Kazu is a really fun monster. Monster Hunter is just really good in general. One of my all-time favorite franchises. Man, this Koja figure I'm making is absolutely horrible. I'm sorry in advance for what I'm creating. <laughs> Alright, good to know. Rise is really good. They shouldn't have done the Rampage thing. I don't think it was very fun. But everything else about Rise is, is really fucking good. Lots of mobility options make that game really, really fun. Especially if you're a hammer, a hammer himbo. <laughs> Did you just say hammer himbo? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh. I've never, I've never played Monster, <laughs> so I'm a little other, confused. <laughs> other weapons too complicated. Switch axe. I don't want to think about it. Bow and arrow. Nah, I don't want to have to think about switching ammo. Uh, instead, I'll just hit thing with other thing. You know what? That's so valid, actually. Hammer Himbo. It's the only way to play Monster Hunter. In in yeah. retrospect, you could you could say that the Hammer Himbo is not in fact a Himbo because they are actually the smartest people because they don't want to deal with all the extra bullshit. <laughs> I mean, all the weapons, the game. <laughs> all the weapons in Monster Hunter are so good. They're they're all really fun in their own way. But I just have always played Hammer, and it's just really fun. <laughs> Especially in Rise, because of all the shit that they added, it's actually so good. Um, you just go around and whack shit. Landing, fun. landing the hardest hit with the hammer in Rise is so satisfying. It's like uh, you jump up into the air super high and you spin like a million times before oh you slam God. it down. And it takes like ten, it takes like ten whole seconds to do the whole thing. So you have to time <laughs> it. You have to time it so perfectly. But when you nail the monster right in the head, and it just instantly knocks them out and does like like hundreds of hundreds of damage in comparison to like the 50 per hit that everybody else is doing it's so satisfying <laughs> especially if you can if you can hit them when the monster is asleep and it like uh it, it has a multiplier on the damage if you do that so if you if you manage oh. to time it right and you hit the last hit on a sleeping monster it's the most satisfying thing in all of monster hunter insect glaive is really it good sounds, too, it sounds very Insect glaive. <laughs> Insect glaive is really good because it's like everybody else is fighting the monster and you're just like, yeah, I'm just like jumping around in the sky. You all are doing all the hard work. I'm just hanging out up here. Because <laughs> you just are like doing like crazy acrobatic backflips up in the sky and everybody else is like getting thrashed by the monster and you're just all the way above You're just everything. hanging out. Just hanging out. Just having a good time. I'm just <laughs> vibing, bro. Yeah, I don't need to worry about the fucking... The monster <laughs> just chill. Like genuinely, bro. like like half of the monsters move just can't hit you if you know how to stay in the air as an insect glaive user. It's so fun. Plus, you get a little insect friend, <clears throat> and you get to you get to decide what insect friend you want. You can have a little bee. You can have a little beetle. You can have a little moth. Oh my gosh, I love insect friend. The only downside is that a lot of the insect glaives look kind of dumb. Mm. You just have to find the one in the game that looks really cool and then just keep that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, giant camp. Hmm, this chair stands out too much. How do we. That's a little bit better, actually. Oh, yeah, of course. I, I was like, there's something missing. Of course, I didn't do the shadows on the trees. Duh. You know what we should do? We should take a look at other people's maps. Let's get some inspiration. I like doing Absolutely. That. Let's take a look at the, the giant scrolling list of everybody else's maps. Perusing some maps for fun. 
Uh, it looks so much better. As soon as you add the shadows on the trees, everything just looks a million times better. Everything just starts to pop in the map. Looks oh, seriously, you better. add depth, and then it's like, wow, this is... <laughs> yeah, it's like the number this one thing. If, if you're like looking at your incarnate map, and you're like, hmm... This kind of this looks fine. Like I could use this for the players, and they probably wouldn't complain. They wouldn't be like, "What the hell is this?" But like, it, it feels like it needs something. It's probably depth. That's probably what you're missing. Um, and doing your own shadows will help immensely with that. Uh, paint your own little shadows in, in certain areas, um, and then do the tree technique if you have a bunch of trees. If there's just like one, then maybe you don't need it. But um, if you really want the trees to pop, you uh, right click, select all stamps from their set. And then duplicate them, drag them slightly um, into the opposite direction of your light source, and then uh, reduce their brightness all the way down, then make their opacity about half. And then you'll have basically the exact shadow of all the intricate little leaves, and it'll look very good. Mm. Alright, we'll leave it like that for now. Um, I, have to, I have to take us off this screen because you guys aren't allowed to see... <laughs> Um, my maps. There's too many spoilers in there. Show, show us spo spoiler, <laughs> please. <laughs> Beg you. <laughs> make up, make a persuasion check, and I'll show you one spoiler. Okay, hold on. <laughs> but hold on. I, I can't show you everything because, like, your spoilers are there. Seas of Sand spoilers uh, are just sitting there. Yeah, but I want the Seas of Sand. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, hmm. You said persuasion, right? Yeah, you're rolling with such a oh, character sheet. Okay. Since anyone who... Uh, oh, I got a nine. <laughs> anyone who will be participating in one of these things... Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just show you anyway. Anyone who's participating <laughs> in this um, will not see this anyway. They're not going to watch the stream. So <laughs> this isn't really much of a spoiler. I'll just I'll just tease something. Um, okay. Uh, as I said, there's three short stories that are coming out. Um, which one do you want? One, two, or three? <laughs> with no context two yeah all right the way that you said two made me feel like i should have regretted my, my two why would you pick two <laughs> <laughs> well now i want to okay um, yeah, i mean you said it <laughs> you said it not me okay um i mean brief, if you just want the shitty one <laughs> brief uh brief insider spoilers everybody ready Two is called Hell or High Water. Ooh. Ooh. And it may what? involve, judging by the name, <laughs> um, some demonic presences. Um, here is a brief little spoiler of some of the maps. Uh, this is not all of them, though, because I, I made my categories really weird for this one, so this is only like... 33% of the maps that exist for it, but um, there's a couple of them. <laughs> so, yeah. Sneaky. There's your little uh, there's your little sneak peek. Wow. They look so good. Uh, Incarnate just keeps getting better and better. I'm getting too powerful with the maps, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they keep adding too many options, and then I, I can like spend like hours making maps look really, really good. So... The more um, we donate, the more maps you make. <laughs> basically. That's not a good payoff, actually. <laughs> that just makes you have to work more. Jay, if I donate a bunch of money, can you make maps for my... <laughs> well, okay. So the thing the thing that I... I forbidden knowledge that I discovered... Mm-hmm. Um, actually, here. I'm going to show you something. Since, I'm, since I already showed you... Um, Hell or high water. Anyway, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna show the uh, the town map for that one, because I've I've discovered this forbidden knowledge um, on Incarnate that makes something look incredible, but it takes so much work. Oh no! <laughs> it takes ages to do it, but when you do it, it looks so good, and it, it's like the little cherry on top that makes it like a ten out of ten. And I'm so mad that I discovered it because now I feel like I have to do it every time. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> if I had never learned that I could do it, then I would have never had to spend all that time on it, and I would have never been any the wiser. But since I discovered it, now it will always sit in the back of my head anytime I don't do it. That's so scary. Are you gonna like <laughs> go ham on? 
on like every map after this. Okay, so the Forbidden Laws that I discovered is I discovered how to make a town map look exactly like the ones that they have in the official D and D books. Oh no. Like That's exactly. Scary. Uh, so take a look at this. Um, this is Althea, which is not really much of a spoiler because uh, this is a city that everybody knows exists already in uh, sort of northern Carcassonne. Uh, northeastern Carcassonne sits up in the, the valley near the mountains. Uh, so this is Althea. And so with a combination of the correct fonts, um, the correct highlighting, as well as a very minute detail that makes all the difference, you can make maps look exactly how they do in source books. And this is how they look. It looks really good. Uh, so if we zoom in, do you see Ooh. these? Do you see right here in this dirt, uh, on the dirt path, all those little like kind of tracings that kind of outline mm -hmm. the dirt path? Yes. Yeah. Every single one of those lines was drawn by hand. Now look, watch as I scan it. Let's just scroll out. Hold on. Je hold on. Not the grass. Yay. Just the ones around the dirt. Okay, Dear God. You. That took me at least like two hours just to do that. <laughs> That's what I hey, said. It's, it's forbidden knowledge. On. It looks, It trust me, it looks so much better with them than without. It does. It looks great, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like if you exported the map into, like, a drawing software that had a brush that was just, like, dotted lines, that could be a lot easier for you. No, this this is a brush. I'm using the brush in the thing. I'm using the, yeah, the I know, line but tool I to mean, do like, it. It's just, I'm, no, I'm drawing them all. I know, but I mean, like, some, um... Like drawing softwares have brushes that are dashed lines, so you don't have to draw each line individually. You can just draw a line. No, it but it, it has to be independent because look, some of them are, are grass textured like this one. See, they're not. It's not just a dotted line drawn across it. You put so much work into this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's forbidden God. knowledge. As soon as you learn this, you can't unsee how much better it makes it look. Because if you go and look at official source book maps, they look exactly like this. Oh, they have man. that. They have that, fucking... they have that fine little detail drawn around their entire um, hey, road I'm system in the town. Jesus. And so, <laughs> uh, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can find one to show the stream. I think uh, my officially worst creation ever is complete. Not at all. Is, this, is it true final form Koja? <laughs> it is. Know. Jesus. <laughs> um, okay, which source book has one? Really, this should be in Hearth and Home, but Naraka is in Season. Oh, I, I see it. That there. Dragon, Dragon of Ice Spare Peak, I think, has a good one. I opened yep. the map that's... A f yeah, I see the... the <laughs> Oh, this is so Jeez. terrible. I hate I it. I don't want it. Oh. <laughs> you have to look. Oh, yeah. God. I hate, I hate <laughs> Does she have like six tails? What is Nine. going on? <laughs> I just did everything. I'm so scared. <laughs> That's like terrifying. Jesus. I know, right? Yeah, look at that. Scary. I will be right back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, here. Take a look at Fandom. Here, look, see? If you zoom in, 
There's all these little details around the road, and it makes it look so much better. Mm. It adds I so see. much to it. It uh, highlights it, and so <laughs> if you do that to your own thing, then it looks it looks so good. But it is, it is forbidden knowledge. Everyone uh, who has seen the stream will be assassinated. The knowledge cannot spread. Now that you know it, if you, uh, <laughs> if you are a a map maker on Incarnate, then and you're trying to make town maps, know that your your brain has been ruined now. <laughs> because uh, it is the the peak way to make a town map, and it looks so good. But I wish I never learned it. <laughs> Now imagine if this was a city map, like Cory <laughs> Oh, God. All right. I'll save those changes, because I actually want that to, to remain. Where's the note from again in Car Carcassonne? Has that come up? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, no. <it's> not. <laughs> Are you still there? Oh, what? Are you still there? I was asking you a question. I just wasn't sure if you were there or not. Oh, me? I, I, I did not hear. I zoned out. I was just asking where Lunette was from in Carcassonne because I couldn't remember. Uh, I don't remember the name. It was like one a... of the capitals or one of the smaller towns. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta go to the map and remember. Because there's Rome, there's Venice, and then there's small towns. Uh, I'm assuming you're not from the pirate one, so you're not from Drosis. Drosis is the pirate one. I think it was Lucens. Okay, Lucens is Venice, so that would make sense. Yeah. What did I miss? We were just talking about this. Joe. <laughs> Where uh, the hell is Joe? Anyway. Yes, you died. No. Oh. Okay, so. Thief in the night, they need a camp, then they need maybe like. I don't know. We could do like one more forest map, but it's probably not necessary. The, the, the trick is you just um, make them spend enough time in a different map, and then you bring them back to the same one, and they don't notice it's the same one. Have you done that with us before, Viana? <laughs> like 14 <laughs> times, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> now I feel stupid. <laughs> there was, I forget what campaign it was, but one of the campaigns I just kept, um, it might have been Whispers. I was just, they were talking amongst themselves, so I just looped them between three maps. And every every once in a while, I would rotate one of the maps, and then they just didn't notice that they kept, they were walking through the same maps. <laughs> <laughs> Until I they mean, realized, you know like, hang on, we've been walking for quite some time. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I was just letting you guys talk. It, it it allows itself incredible. for good RP. Yeah, that's that's sort of why I have all these like transition maps that don't really have uh, a ton of like content in them. I just like to make like a here's a map where when you're where you're new walking in the forest, this is where you stand, and then everybody always does the thing where they like drag their character all the way across the map and stand right at the border. <laughs> <laughs> we don't walk through; we just run across. The intention is usually for those maps to just like just stand in the middle and then that that's while you're talking on transit and then when you're ready to go I'll move you to the next one. <laughs> that's sort of why I make them, but everybody always goes and stands right at the edge. Um, <laughs> and just like waits for me to move the map. When it's more just me like providing you a space to stand while you RP so that the audience isn't looking at nothing. Jokes on you. Our group doesn't RP when we walk around. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's we all have right. to I want to. somewhere. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. It's just uh, no talking. Some in groups between walking. Some groups like yeah, to speak for yourself to chat in character as they walk, and so I like to provide um, an opportunity to do so. I don't want to cut them off with like, and now you're there. I like to give a little bit of opportunity to, to chat amongst themselves. We gotta and, do that more often. I feel uh, like uh -huh. we miss out on a lot of RP. Though. You certainly don't have to. 
Yes, but yes, I, I don't have to. I want... No, we do have to. You're wrong. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I am wrong. You're so right. <laughs> I mean, Jay is wrong, but sure. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I just doing? assumed you were talking to me, because it's usually me. <laughs> <laughs> the brunt end. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's hey. fine. It's fine. These new hill textures are actually great. I really like them. They, uh, they add a I... lot of... A lot of options. Uh, they look a little funny when you first put them in. So if you're ever like, huh, why does this... Why is this green? It's because you can paint them. Ooh. Uh, they just start default green because that's what your default foreground layer is, but... Um, if you're like, why is that green? It doesn't blend with anything. It's because they want they want you to paint it. <laughs> just for fun. Nah, everything's just green. On behalf of really incarnate stuff, they are they are screaming at you, yelling at you, please paint <laughs> them, and you're not doing it. So do it. Yeah, it's just for fun, you know. Well, you know. It's like it's like mossy stone bricks from Minecraft. Yeah, it's just the uh -huh. default. It's the default grass texture that everything has. I like mossy stone. Uh, but, see, we take that and then we'll add a little bit of kind of rock around it to make it look like there's sort of a, uh, a rocky cliff face here. Do that bit on the background. We need to fade the, uh, the grass into the rock so that it mm -hmm. matches a bit better. Make the paintbrush smaller. We'll go in here. Fade some of that in. We'll place a bunch of rocks around it for added effect. Otherwise, it'll look too clean. And then foreground, we'll just go. Uh, it's a little bit dark, so we'll make it lighter. And we'll try this one. Uh, we'll brighten it a little bit. Uh, even further. And then we got kind of more blues in our in our thing than this, so we'll adjust the texture like that. All right, let's see if we have anything else to help it blend a little bit better. Kind of a darker texture up above to show that it's different. Oh. All right. And then just place a bunch of random rocks on them. There we go. Uh, on top, there should be some rocks too. So that doesn't look like it's just flat on top. So let's do that. Some kind of texture in here. What are you laughing at? <laughs> just the art channel. Just the phrasing of so she can hoard me. Excuse me? In the art channel. I didn't say it. It's, it's, it's I forget the name. <laughs> I forget the name. GB. GB, yeah. It's, um, they did it. <laughs> Altering your clown outfit. I find clowns delightful. It's pretty good. What kind of normal person says that? I like clowns. I want to be mentally ill. Of course, I'm mentally ill. Is this Mental... your first time meeting me? All right, let's uh, throw a bunch of rocks around here. Rock, 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 rock. That's too many. <laughs> and uh, then the cave entrance needs a bit of uh, stoniness to it. And then we'll do a bit of mud as well to kind of that was way too much. <laughs> uh, to just sort of mix the the stone in with dirt. That will help it. Uh, 
blend better because it wouldn't go straight from grass to rock. We'd have a bit of dirt in there. Ah, so the idea is that this this cave is too small for the giant to enter. That's why he needs the party to get the item back. Yeah, the thief stole something from the giant, and then the giant chased the thief. Um, but uh, the thief went and hid in a system of caves that are too small for the giant to enter. And thus we have a a plot hook. <laughs> Uh, in regards to rewards, we can give them a bunch of money, but they're not really going to have a ton of use for it if it's one shot. But still. A, a giant wouldn't have any use for money, so he'd probably give that away as a reward. <laughs> And then maybe we'll get like a couple. He could other. buy a giant blankie. We'll do like a couple other items. Yeah, but he's you not exactly. Me? He's not exactly going into town. Yeah, he should. He should get a giant blankie. It'd be nice. He deserves it. <laughs> For what? This big guy? Yeah. What? It'd probably be. <laughs> I feel like a blanket that big. Would be made of like a hundred blankets, just like so. Exactly. Together. It's also a needs a blanket. Giant quilt. It's also an Eden, so like it has two heads. Keep that in mind. Mm. Both heads need separate blankets. Exactly. Can we get them big beanies, please? <laughs> <laughs> I think they deserve to have their heads be warm as well. The giant can't go into town because he doesn't have a face mask big enough. And oh, eats two man. of them. And the only place he can get one made is in town, but, you know. He, he like, tries to tie a bunch of them together. He just snaps. <laughs> he gets COVID and dies. <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You should be. Bunch of fallen rocks all around this. Uh, and then we'll paint some extra shadows in to emphasize that this is a tall mountain. Squish. All right. Get that one in here. And then the trees with their shadows. Pop that down. Capacity. Shrubs in here. Always have to have some shrubs. Sorry, what do they call them? Ferns. That's better. <laughs> uh, and then what was I doing with them? I forget. I was uh, dropping the hue to like minus 20-ish. Yeah. So that they look kind of yellowed. The trick also with incarnate maps is you gotta <laughs> you gotta let the light interact with things. Like a shadow oh. is, is all is all well and good, but you gotta you also have to place something along the edge of the light so that they can see where the light interacts with it. Like placing a fern under a tree 
shows that that fern is way darker because the shadow is overcast over it. And then you place another fern next to that, and that one's much better. And so you kind of get that contrast. You can even place one along the border that's sort of half and half. And then that allows the lighting to look a lot more dynamic. Wow, yeah. Oh, hang on. Got a bit of a... I think I forgot to say I got a new chair the other day. It's very comfy. Well, that's good. Actually, I kind of like that. <laughs> I was like, oh, the opacity's too low on the ferns, but it actually kind of makes them blend kind of nicely. That's not bad. I might just keep that. I think I just learned a new technique. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll. I think we'll do that. And then just for a slight little bit of ominous, we'll put like a dead tree nearby. Just to oh. imply, not it doesn't mean anything. It's just to- The to tree like, was murdered. It's just like in the background of their brains, they'll be like, hmm, <laughs> there wasn't dead trees anywhere else, but there is one here. There's a uh, knife stuck in the tree's yeah, back. The tree is bleeding sap everywhere. Oh <laughs> God, who murdered the tree? It's just for atmospheric. <laughs> the tree has 28 stab wounds. God fucking did shut up <laughs> Jesus Christ Just gonna leave God And then we'll do the shadows on them as well. Alright. Drawing some Tuli with a mullet right now. I think it's really funny. Right. And I like to just put a little bit of vignette on the forest maps. It just adds a little something. And then let's actually see if that looks pretty good. We'll use that. The goal of these one shots is to be quick, so we don't want to spend too much on one map. Cave entrance. There we go. That's the whole first couple maps of Thief in the Night. That's nice and easy. Alright. <laughs> I don't want to go too much later because if, if, if we're not going to be playing, then uh, there's no need to do a uh, extensive stream. The lack of Ezekiel really tortured us all, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna punch Ezekiel in the ribs. <laughs> Can we kill off Ezekiel next thing? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, we just all gain up and beat up Ezekiel. Yeah. When Phoenix comes back. Yep. So we want, we want, in Thief in the Night, we want one encounter and then a boss, probably. Oh. That'd be about right for a one shot. Because anything longer than that, and we're probably not going to be able to, to play it in a single session. Mm -hmm. um, so the first encounter will be unrelated to the thief. The second encounter will be with the thief. So cave dwelling creature that attacks party will be the first encounter. And then we were saying that whatever the thief stole lets you like summon something. That way it's not just like fighting a single person by themselves. Those fights don't usually work out very well. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Could. They were like really OP. They, well, they'd, they'd need to be given a bunch of things that normal people don't have. <laughs> just to make them feel like they, they balance out. Like you need to give them the ability to teleport um, around <laughs> the, the arena. Otherwise they can be locked down. Um, by opportunity attacks. So they need to be able to just basically legendary action, Misty step away. 
Um, but 30 okay. feet is not great because that still places them within the range of the party on the next turn that they take. So you have to give them more than 30 feet of range, um, especially if they're a spellcaster type boss. Uh, they need more than that. So you got to give them around 50-ish feet of uh, movement at the least. Just give them a shit ton of legendary actions and be like, well, fuck you guys. I'm I mean, that's what I usually do. <laughs> for a lot of bosses i usually just give like legendary the actions. um probably more than a lot of bosses typically have in DD, but i do it because it it splits things up i don't make them quite as strong as they usually are um i just now just give them a gun <laughs> don't do that it's don't like do that. um it's like in like a turn-based rpg when you're playing and then the boss gets to make uh more moves than you do yeah, because, um, it, because otherwise, or like they can interrupt you. That's a that's another thing. Yeah, it's usually I like fucking hate when they just cut in. If you're just playing like a turn-based RPG and you have four party members and you fight four monsters, then often it'll just be like each are making each each side is taking four actions and that's sort of the action yeah. economy, right? but when you just place one enemy, then it's like okay, all four of us do an attack and then you do one thing to one of us. And then it's like cool, and then we do all four of our moves again, <laughs> and so that's we usually beat the why. Shit out of you. That's usually why those things don't go well unless you anticipate them. So you need to give them things where, um, uh, if you give them a bunch of legendary actions, then one of the players moves, then the boss does something, then the next player goes, then the boss does something, and so that allows the boss to to remain um, in the action economy and sort of not uh, being drowned by the players with things to do, especially with some of the things that D and D players can do. Um, the characters like, just start jumping the boss. <laughs> uh, what's Fight the, back. What's Fight the back. I think it's like Sentinel or something like that, but AOPS uh, stop you from moving when you have the Sentinel trait. Mm -hmm. And so if the boss is trying to run away and they hit an the AOP, then they just don't get to move during their turn. So uh, nice. you need to give them, you need to give them a teleport or some sort of, there's sort of like there's a really good um, way to think about it is like depending on the the monster type, um, you give it like one of the three. Um, so one of them is like you give them a good disengage if they're like a nimble type creature, or if they're a spellcaster you give them a teleport, and if they're a big burly creature then you give them a I barrel you down <laughs> as I run <laughs> at, at, uh, move, and so yeah that gives them a way to move no matter what type of enemy they are. Um, you kind of need that otherwise they will be they will get completely demolished i see and you give them legendary actions based on what kind of thing they might be able to do and often you want to give them at least <laughs> depending on the party you probably want to give them a legendary resistance <laughs> otherwise Maybe. it's Okay, we've spent um, an entire year building up to this boss fight. And uh, Wizard, you rolled highest in the initiative order. Uh, what are you going to do? Oh, I, I cast Charm on the boss. All right, uh, well, I'll make the saving throw. Oh, you failed it. Well, all right, that's the campaign over. The boss is on your side now. <laughs> <laughs> Just for fun. And so that's why you need Rhett Wizard Resistance, because uh, things like Banish... Uh, spells like banishment where you just like um i cast banishment on the boss okay they just don't exist on this plane anymore goodbye <laughs> yeah i mean i don't know like that, that can be fun. fun that can be fun so if you have the kind of table that would enjoy that but sometimes when they've built up to a boss fight for so long it can be a little bit unsatisfying because the wizard does one thing and then the uh the party just stands there um, yeah in in one of the podcasts i'm listening to they literally just shoved one of the final bosses into like um it was one of like one of like their bard had a spell that made a mansion like in an extra dimensional plane yep. they just shoved him in it and closed the door <laughs> and he was gone forever. Yeah. yeah things like that can be fun on occasion but if that becomes the go-to way to beat any tough enemy they did it multiple times exactly <laughs> then it's it's kind of becomes a little bit like eh. it's funny but it's a little yeah. bit uh that reminds me of the. Uh, yeah. That reminds me of the story I uh, heard from a YouTube channel about a DM who like had like the BB the you know the the main villain like show up early in like a tavern like they weren't supposed to be able to beat him, yeah. and it was like because it was specifically like a type of monster like it was um I don't remember what it was called but it was like some kind of it, like its flavor was that it was like a failed lich and it has like these giant claw hands the art's really good I just don't remember what it's called. 
but basically, uh, through like just through the luck of the dice, they managed to knock the tavern that it was in off a cliff <laughs> while it was <laughs> How inside, do you knock the and they one the shot it. Oh my god! Yeah. If I was the DM, I would have killed myself. <laughs> and yeah, it took like six hundred damage and, and and died instantly. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I probably would have just made the, the tavern careen off the cliff, and then you just don't know if you killed the boss or not. Yeah. It would have been a better implication. Of like, did, we, just did like, we win? Oh, and just let them, let them sit there for a long time. And you can let them win like that if you want to. But it would have been it would have been funny to just be like, it goes careening off the cliff, and you don't know if it like teleported away or not. Mm-hmm. They, just, they just never know the fate of that creature. It could still be out there watching them. Yeah. Or not. It just careened to its death while yeah, holding its died. favorite drink in its hand. Oh, so sad. <laughs> That's why you have to be careful. Whenever the, the party are allowed to see the the boss, the final boss, the BBEG, um, you have to expect that they're probably going to pull some bullshit. So you have to limit the amount of time that they can see that person. <laughs> Because you know Lucy would be fucking up Anders Vanderholt if she could see him. So <laughs> <Yeah>. it's, <laughs> you can't let Lu- people like Lucy see the boss until it's time for a fight. <laughs> Lucy loses her absolute shit. <laughs> she sees a picture of him and she's going to fuck wild. I, well, the joke is that I'm the only person who ever remembers his name. So I keep oh every God. time they're like, every time they're trying to like ask other people about um, where to find the guy or like, do you know any information? It's always like, do you know any information about uh, Anders Vanderholt? They're just p- piping up in the background. <laughs> I just do it in character <laughs> because it's funny. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh my God. Right. So, I, uh, I adjusted the goal for followers to 110. I'll just like kind of let it progressively go up so that we can have <laughs> a meter. Because I, I don't know why we need a meter that's full. So, we'll just, just have it progressively go up. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys. We hit our, our 100 goal. No more d d <laughs> We're not... Uh, we're not doing a a milestone for every single time we fill that meter, though. Um, it'll only be on the the important numbers. Jay, what if we get to a thousand? What would we'll you do, do? We would definitely do something out of a thousand. That feels like a good milestone one. But like, what would like? How would you I react? Know. Like, I <laughs> I don't know. Happily, probably it'd be fun. Because <laughs> if we had so many people in the audience, then we could start doing a lot of really fun things. Cause I, I want to let the the viewers kind of fuck with the world a little bit, and that'd be fun. Oh no, that's kind of scary. I mean, I've been meaning to implement some sort of a channel point system to do that. Um, and I think that would be kind of fun to uh, to mess around with. Um, I've seen a lot of other DMs do. Uh, like a certain amount of channel points grants inspiration to a character of their choice. I think that's a good Ooh. way because I don't I don't use inspiration all that much. Um, so I think that would be a decent way to to give parties some extra rolls. Um, but then we would also have to balance that by giving them an option to inspire me. <laughs> I've seen DMs do that before on Twitch. Channel point, certain amount of channel points, and they can they can give me a reroll. Which is dangerous. <laughs> that is yeah. extremely dangerous. Don't give the divination wizard rerolls. <laughs> they already have rerolls. They have enough. Because Charlemagne is a divination wizard, by the way. Oh God. That was his specialty. I gave him like kind of two because he's a headmaster, so he knows all of the schools. He, he's 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 had experience with all of them, but um, his specialty is. A combo of enchantment and divination. Felt like that fit the DM vibe. 
All right. Close that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We can wrap up soon. <laughs> yeah. Been hanging out. I don't think. Uh, I don't think our cleric is showing up. And if yeah. They, if they did. Late. We would have a half an hour <laughs> to play. <laughs> All right. We would lost our, be here anyway. We lost yeah. our paladin as well. So I think it's safe to say that we're not doing anything. Um. So I think we can we can wrap up. Unless anybody has anything else they want to talk about. Uh I wanna talk about Terminator 2. God okay. damn it. Then Does anyone night, else everybody. want to talk about Terminator 2? <laughs> that will be the end of the stream. <laughs> hey, remember Sea's of Sound? Yeah, that that Me too. I, I forget do. those guys. Alrighty. <laughs> were you were you there for the Avrana part of the stream? Um nope. Su Suzulia. Oh. Um I don't know. <laughs> I was I was like reading something for one of my classes most <laughs> Cuz it has uh Yuan T lore as a part of it. Oh, I yeah, I remember I I had the world anvil open earlier and I was kind oh, of up on some stuff, But Where'd you go? Yeah. I read. I read some about the shower. <laughs> oh. I read some about like the the creatures that were trying to, or at least that did take out the abominations, but not thing. And then yeah, also that's, that's that one place that got founded by. Hold on, there was one place that got founded by them. Did I forget it? Where? <laughs> Avrana was founded by Yuanti Pureblood. Yeah, 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 yeah. I um, I read that, and then I was like, hmm, maybe I should, maybe I should bring Cecilia there. Because uh, <laughs> that's this shit. That's Garani. That's Garani lore is the um the abominations and all that. Because mm -hmm. abominations and malisons are sort of like the uh, the more evil aligned one typically, um, and Purebloods are, are considered the lowest caste in Yuanti yeah. society. Um, and so you, some of the purebloods who were like, I don't want to be a part of this, they fucked off to the other side of the realm to go start their own city without any abominations or malisons around. Um, Good for them. And so that's Avrana. Good for them. They that's, were girl bosses. I, I was literally about to say that. <laughs> and they've got, a, uh, they've got a satrap in charge, uh, which is sort of like a viceroy. Um, not really like a, a king necessarily. They're more like a um, person in charge who doesn't have like a, a noble claim. Um, but they they have to answer to to Deatra because um, Deatra rules Halasatra. Interesting. Uh, but I thought that that was appropriate because they they both speak Draconic. That's sort of their their ancestry is, is similar in those ways. So. Uh, Dragonborn and UNT kind of share some stuff. Yeah, one of them is the cooler, fire-breathing cousin. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so they were the Pureblows were fleeing um, the Unification Wars, which is um, the, the the shit that the <laughs> abominations were starting when they were attempting to take over. Um, and basically rule all of Zolgaran. And then Yan Hari were like, uh no thank you, but also at the same time, your 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 armies are massive and you are doing like blood magic shit. So <laughs> what are they we said, gonna do? We still <laughs> they were they were losing and so that's why they teamed up with the Arakokra and the elves that were also in the area. And that's they formed that that unity and that's what let them win. That's why it's called the Unification Wars. Ah. And so you that's why that's why the the Sultanate of uh, Zulgaran now um, and Al Zahar is those three races: Elves, um, Arakokra, and Nyanhari. So basically, they kicked the shit out of some Yuanti and were like, you know what? We make a pretty good. Team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, they didn't kick the shit out of the Yuan Tzu. They fought in a, a very, very brutal war for a very long period of time in which lots of people died horrifically, um, creating several war heroes on the Nyan Hari side. So maybe the I, I name Yuan dropped, kicked the shit out of them. I name dropped one of them. Yeah, Yuan Tzu are, are dangerous fellas. Um, See, guys, Susiliu might be a manly, but he's also cool or something. Well, he's a no, pure he's blood, so he's the lowest cast. But no, true. <laughs> the um, oh, the Malisons, the Malisons are big buff dudes with snake heads, and the Abominations are just big snake people. Yeah, so. they're just snakes. With, yeah, they're just snakes with arms, aren't they? Basically, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they can oh, be quite, well. they can be quite dangerous, uh, especially if you start looking at some of their stat blocks. It's like damn. <laughs> yeah. Some of these guys are starting really high in comparison to human commoner <laughs> the uh <laughs> the mousins are, the are looking pretty tough in comparison um so yes that was that was the unification wars that's Gurani history um and that created a few war heroes including um ball to ashenvale and all these other nyanhari figures so yeah that's that's the history that you're <laughs> that you're hearing about interesting this is such a such a very good history and that's why that's why you and T are kind of split up because the the ones who were like fuck this went off to an entirely different continent, um, and the others just kind of spread out into their own little groups, uh, including cults. Interesting. <laughs> including including cults. Oh yeah, gotta get that well, sense of. I mean, there's always gonna be girl bossy. There's always gonna be the groups that are the true believers who want to return to the previous glory of the Yuan T army, right? <laughs> And just beat the shit out of some civilians for fun. <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> I mean, more like more like reclaiming the Garani um, <laughs> Sultanate and attempting to summon their god. But oh god, <laughs> <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you sound, whatever you think sounds fun, <laughs> go for it. I think that's worse, and I will not be thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> you should probably start thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, what did you find down in the sewers? Little scary things that we a don't snake. talk about. What was carved snake. on the wall? A snake. <laughs> Not just a snake. Not just a snake. Oh. Two snakes. Lots of things. Breathe <laughs> into than... the it snake. Was... Hold on, I wrote it down. Breathe into the snake. snake. Not not that Four serpent snakes? statue. I'm talking about what was carved into the wall in their lair. I wrote it down. A snake. Oh, I didn't even know that happened. <laughs> Just not paying attention, I guess. It's a, it was a six-headed snake carving with dragon heads. Mm -hmm. A snake. I said mm -hmm. it. One might call well, that a, a hydra. They, but... You're putting a yeah. lot of faith into someone who literally fell asleep on stream. Yeah, I guess that's so. That's you, not me. <laughs> I Yes, that's I I know. That's exactly what I'm I saying. I am girl bossy. <laughs> I write At these least... down. It was At great least for the role play. Somebody but... remember. Does anybody remember its name? No fuck. <laughs> that's that's a hard one. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you didn't tell me. I Lunette was there for the merchant. I'm I'm just in character by not paying attention. <laughs> exactly. That's just why you write your characters to be people who don't pay attention. Because then you just pretend that you're RP. <laughs> no, but my character does pay attention, but I don't Stop. That's why all of my characters are airheads, because then it's just like Hmm? Uh, what's that? I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. I mean, you just rejoined the conversation. Pretty much. Um, I, 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 I was mostly kidding when I said, "Does anybody remember the name?" Because I, I said it once and then never again. <laughs> and it was right. a complicated one that you wouldn't have been able to spell just off the top of your head. So that's why. Yeah, but I remember you mentioned. So I do know this. I remember you mentioned a. Where the fuck did I write this? No! I wrote this down somewhere! But I remember that you mentioned a place and I fucking. I wrote it down. No, you meant. I literally had to go back on the stream and re. like, listen to it so I could try to. like, figure out how it was spelled. <laughs> what are we talking I thought about? I wrote it down! Is it a place in Zulgaran? Yeah, the Yuantis mentioned it when we were. Oh yeah, the um, okay. So it's the Salta Setnahara, the Ruby Savannah, and I mm. wrote it down because they mentioned it, and they were like, "Have you been there?" And he was like, "No." 
<laughs> and they were like, go there. Um, oh, so I'm already doing... <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I wrote it down because I'm really smart. <laughs> well, good on you. Um, for, but for I know that it, it is also north of Kisana because you mentioned that too. So I wrote that down. Indeed. Tee hee. I know things. <laughs> yes, very good. Very good work. Yay! I'm smart, guys. <laughs> A gold star on your yeah, paper. Yay! Oh, I love gold stars. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. I feel so smart. <laughs> I literally had to go back and rewatch the. I was like, wait. I think I need to know this. So I wrote it down. <laughs> I wrote down literally like what you said word for word. And I was like, yes, yes. Well. Good on you for, for thinking of that, but if it ever does come down to it, I can always remind you guys of stuff. No, it's okay. I like knowing it, because then I can be like, guys, I knew this all along. Yeah, it's it's better if you guys know it, but if it does come down to it, and it's important information, then I will uh, allow you all to roll in checks and then remind whoever rolls highest. Also, I doubt ever anybody else was paying attention during that segment, though, because like it was just me talking to some guy for like... Half an hour. <laughs> That's not exactly the most interesting. It was a very important conversation. It was, but nobody else is probably paying attention. It's fine. I don't pay attention during half the most important shit that goes on if it doesn't involve me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, it's there. That's their thing to remember. It's fine. All right. Uh, we can wrap up here. I don't want to speak too much longer because uh, I should probably spare my voice. You have a lot of stuff to do this week. Too. I know. <laughs> Extreme wise. <laughs> I know the 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 beginnings of my weeks are so front loaded now. I have like I can just chill in the, <laughs> the second half and just do my, my normal amount of work in the second half of the week, but <laughs> just the way that all the streams worked out, it's like I just don't stop moving in the, the beginning of the week. Every single day is a different saying. stream. Eventually <laughs> Shut up <laughs> eventually, It's true. Um eventually the uh the mini campaign I'm in will will end. I can't imagine we'll go much longer than one or two more sessions, so um then I'll have some free time. Yeah. Eventually, free time for eventually, Silver Song will end because um, they're probably one or maybe like two ish more sessions away from an epilogue. Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna mean say. Why? God. Um, <laughs> mean why? And then, depending on how, God. depending on how quickly Whispers progresses through their dungeon, they could be. Uh, Another couple weeks. Um, oh my god! Well. And then, your, and then your obviously campaign, we do Hearth and Home Park. Your too. campaign will be like another yeah. like six months, probably. Yeah, <laughs> probably, maybe more. Probably more. So, <laughs> um, yours will keep going while I start on the other stuff. But the plan is short story stuff, and then attempting to get some season twos starting of some of the other things. Um, but the season twos will be shorter as well. Uh, the intention is to never do anything that's a year long anymore because uh, <sighs> they're too ambitious and I don't like asking people to commit for that long um, right off the top. So, Plus, Is it going to be the, some the, newbies or the older? Be, the short stories will all be new people. If it's a season two, oh. then it'll be, it'll be our groups. But um, nice. this, the short stories will all be new people because the goal is to just do a bunch of short campaigns that are like five to ten sessions no longer. Um, in order to just bring as many people into the group as we can, yeah. To just try, I to would get... hope I that the season twos are us. Could you imagine <laughs> getting recast in D and D? I would never recast someone to play someone else's character unless they expressly the, that person expressly said no. My friend can play my character if they want. Uh, otherwise, I would never do that because that's just lame. Um, this is really funny to imagine. Imagine if they get like new token art too. They look completely different. <laughs> it's just it's just a new character, but they're like, no, guys, I swear, this is exactly how my friend would have wanted it for sure. But um, yeah, so season two's will be um, probably the classic crows one and the fresh meat one. 
um, depending on which which is available <laughs> um, and how much work I can get done on those ones because I've been mostly focusing on getting a lot of the short story stuff ready so that I don't have to think about it once it starts. I don't want to have to be making too much adjustments to that stuff. Uh, but there'll be all new groups so that we can get some uh, some new blood. It's always to, exciting to get new to people. Grow the community a little bit. By having shorter stuff, it means we can keep cycling in new people. Um, and everybody who comes often brings at least another person with them. So it usually brings uh, a little bit more. And then once we get more people in the community, then I can start start doing fun things because <laughs> uh, i have a bunch of stuff planned that i'm just like yeah i can't do this unless there's like a decent amount of people in chat because that'll make it way more fun i have some really good ideas but they uh they need an audience. they are secrets it would be it would be fun with just our sort of 15 that we can often get to show up to the stream but it wouldn't be quite the same we need a bit more than that Ambitious, Jack. But I believe in it. I think we can do it. I believe in you. Yes. We've made yeah. it to 100, so everything past that is smooth sailing. Hopefully. Definitely. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like, it well, is, I feel it is like very hard 100 for... is a very big milestone for like smaller streamers. It is. That's so... why I was celebrating it. It's because like, it's hard to break 100. Um, smaller streaming is, is very hard to grow in, but luckily by nature of my my streams is a social activity um which helps uh, i do want one of the short stories i'm gonna try to see if i can headhunt some other streamers to take part in it um i think that'll help grow the community too um but i don't know how oh, to do definitely. that because i am not a people person <laughs> no, you're a people skeleton. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. Oh thank my you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Can can we can we just like kick Valbella off? The yeah, Please kick Valbella, kick Ezekiel. The only thing we have to look yeah. forward to anymore. Kick Valbella, yeah. kick Ezekiel. This is hard. This is the only thing I have to two. look forward to. Please we are don't doing take this from me. Please don't, don't take this right. from me. We gotta get Flimp and Hilda in here. Uh, <laughs> Please don't take no. this from me. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. No, it's, it's not. not. It's gonna be hard that I'm season two. <laughs> okay, we, we'll do Hearth and Home Season 2, but Valbell is there too. <laughs> well, <laughs> regardless, I, I think it'd be fun to get um, like another campaign full of other streamers. I think that'd be you could idea, You so. could also try to um, recruit some quote-unquote forever DMs and be like, hey guys, so... <laughs> That's another idea. Yeah. I know. <laughs> uh, but the, the main thing that I've been really enjoying doing is um, playing with like new players. It kind of fits our aesthetic here because, like, I'm like headmaster of a school, and it's kind of like <gasps> teaching people D and D. We... It just kind of it just kind of works. So, I've been really enjoying like introducing people to D and D, and kind of like I find that there's a lot of people who have always had an interest in D and D, and we're like, oh yeah, that's cool, or they like watch Critical Role and things like that, or Adventure Zone, and we're like, oh yeah, D and D's cool, but I just like never had the opportunity to play. Like, I didn't have anyone who DM'd, and my friends didn't want to play it, and I didn't want to learn DMing because that's a lot of work. And so there's just people who, like, never got to play, just sort of passed them by. And so that's kind of the, the demographic that I want. Um, because I want to let people who have never gotten to play play and give them, like, a good first experience so that they hopefully want to go do it more. I think that fits so our... now a bad time to ask if I can be in another campaign. <laughs> Um, I'm going to avoid repeating people as much as possible in the near future, um, just so that we can get new people in, because that is the goal. Um, but uh, oh, be, hey, I mean, to be fair, this is my first D and D. Yeah, Caesar of Sam will be going on for quite some time. Caesar of um, Sam is fucking going to take forever. Which, which will hope. place you guys on the lowest priority for repeat players. Yeah, just because you're currently because you're actively playing. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Because, so, like, yeah, it was that. a little weird for, like, me and Lunette to start because we were, like, <laughs> right back to back. Like, yeah. when Seas of Sand started, Hearth, of Home, Hearth and Home was still going on. So I would be yeah, playing I forgot about two that. nights a week. I did that for, like, two months because of how long it took for Hearth and Home to wrap up. 
<laughs> yeah. The the focus right now is getting new people in. Um, and then if I can, if I have the time, then trying to do a bit of the, the season two stuff with the people who haven't played in a while. Um, and then going I from th- there, we'll just see how we're available. I just have to convince myself that I can seek out other D&D sessions. No, I just allowed. don't you want a, to. You have a mutually exclusive contract. It's binding with me, unfortunately. <laughs> I was soul bound contract. I am a lich after all. So, unfortunately, oh, if you see. do seek out another DM, then you just die within 15 days. Jokes I'm on so you. Dead. I already gave my soul to another lich. <laughs> what? How dare you? <laughs> How could you? Jay spends all this time on his back. He spent so much time on everything he does and you betrayed him like that. <laughs> like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Reddit is great. That's actually... The only time, I don't think the only time that I would ever mind is if you scheduled your sessions on the same day as mine yeah. and it was interfering. <laughs> That's the only time I would actually care. I still Sorry, can't believe Jeff. I still can't believe what a fucking home run I hit with my first looking for group post. No, seriously. <laughs> like like no, it seriously. just could not have gone better for me. I did not. I feel so happy that I did not have to engage in anything, and I did it purely through <laughs> leeching off of. Yeah, you're yeah, you're, the, um, you're but, uh, one of the lucky yeah. ones. You didn't have you're to. You're one of the lucky ones. You didn't have to post it. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, funny stuff. Funny story. So the same time that I put out, around the same time that I put out the post on Reddit, I asked another group if I could be in their campaign. And they said yes. And I played a session with them. Oh, uh, the ones you ghosted. And, and I hated it. And then I never responded to any of their messages ever again. And I never... Yep. Like, that I just completely ghosted them because I hated it so much. Well, the goal I'm here really is is when I find new people, a a I want to like you know teach people D uh, D and stuff because that that suits the arcane college. But the, also the other goal is that I feel like a lot of times, um, especially when it's like you're you're doing like online games and trying to like, like find other people, and it's not just like you and your friends playing, it, it sort of turns it into a bit of like a contract, and it just feels weird, um, and I don't like that. I would rather just feel like it's playing around a table with friends um that's sort of the vibe that i want um and so that's that's what i try to recreate here well jay it is very enjoyable playing in these games fun. i will say i feel very comfortable here that's so. good because fun takes priority over everything else yes i will yeah. ignore it i will ignore a rule in the rule book if it means that it's more fun All right, so bring robots in, so maybe Ezekiel no. will fucking come to our session. God, <laughs> As, has have they texted no. anyone back? Don't play everything. No. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm worried, but also pissed. <laughs> I think uh, it's it's probably not a big deal, but I, I'm assuming we will get an answer or something tomorrow, and if not, well. You know where they live. Maybe <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> I doubt it. I do know where they live. I would feel a shift in the universe. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> we can uh, call that a night. We've uh, been hanging out for a while, and I need to probably save my voice for tomorrow, and then the next day, and then the next day. <laughs> so. so. <laughs> Got a um, lot of talking to do. <laughs> I know. I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> on Tuesday, I'm just gonna be in the background saying like single word answers to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, we'll we'll call it a night here. Thank you for uh, hanging out with me. Uh, it's unfortunate that we weren't able to play D and D, but it's still a lot of fun time. Uh, but we'll call it a night. Uh, I'll do the, uh, in case anybody is watching this on, because I don't think we have any viewers anymore. <laughs> um, he, 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 he. Twitter. Discord. We do not. It's just, so it's, and. Uh, so this is for, this is for VOD people. And just in case anybody is watching us ramble for hours, which nobody is, but this is for the VOD. <laughs>
there's that link, and there is that link. There's all the links. There you go. <laughs> I'm not doing the full wrap. To all the mystery people who may be watching this. Uh, you lurking freaks. <laughs> no, I, I didn't Why it. would you want to sit there while I like, we do this? I like VOD boys too. You can, you're allowed to be a VOD boy. <laughs> um, but, uh, alright. We'll wrap up here. Have a good night, everybody. And I will just go delete this VOD. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Good. Right. The, the VOD can stay up, but I'm probably not going to export it to YouTube. Um, actually, I'll do what I usually do, which is if I don't want to export it to YouTube, I export it to YouTube anyway, but private it just in case I ever want to access it again in the future. Uh, so, all right. Uh, have a good night. Take care. Uh, the next stream tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern, Silver Song. Um, they're in a dungeon. They just got attacked by a slime on a dragonbone. On a dragonbone. Sure. On a dragonbone bridge. Um, they managed to survive and ward off the slime for now. But Man, it's still I out miss there. the slimes. I miss the slime nights. <laughs> this one's a little bit different. This is a a quicksilver slime. This one looks like it's made of mercury. Uh, this one Ooh. is not. This one is not a friend. Jay, can I eat it? No. I miss our friend. <laughs> if you if you ate this slime, you would legitimately like die within several like. Maybe that is what I the want. Whole, the whole point of the campaign is is that there there is a affliction spreading called Silver Vein that is killing people. And you want to eat no. the, the Quicksilver yes. Slime? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm going to put it in The my Forbidden mouth. Jello. Exactly. I can it guarantee you that that would give yummy. you a very severe case of Silver Vein, which would kill you within days. Yes, uh, good. Half the party, Beautiful. Three, three out of four members of the party already have silver vein <laughs> walking into really? the dungeon. Really? Yeah. They, they, oh my god. They, they just tossed around a necklace that was very obviously implied to have it. I was like, this is a and silver... They were like, right. This is a silver necklace that is hammered shut into a crate that is covered with all these herbs that seem to be uh, used in preventing silver vein. You recognize those herbs. And um, this is a campaign called Silver Song in which you are trying to stop a affliction known as silver vein. What do Wait, you want to do so with this Wait, so are the characters going to fucking die? Well, now they, now they definitely have to cure silver vein or they will. Um, Jesus. They have to what win. What if they don't? Or, well, then they'll I mean, probably die to the fault. boss. I it's their own fault. They'll probably no, die to, they'll probably Wait, die to any... Silver? To, silver Song, yeah. They will probably die to enemies before they ever die of silver vein, but if they just decided to leave like this is too dangerous, they would still die. So they're they're now um <laughs> they're now basically committed to having to attempt to cure silver vein. Because they three of them have it. Oh my god. Which who doesn't have it? Kosh, the smart one. Joe does. <laughs> Stop! And, <laughs> and it's, it's it's for the simplest reason. They were trying to speculate why Kaj doesn't have it, and they're like, "Oh, it's because he's like he's connected to Hestia the Golden, and that's like the opposite of silver, and she has like healing magic, and that's why he's not." No, it's just because he was the only one smart enough to not touch it. <laughs> he just, they were tossing around a silver necklace, like, "Hmm, I wonder what this does." And I'm going, "Con save, con save," and they keep passing it around. <laughs> And then he's the only one who's just like, nah, I, I'll, I'm, not, I'm good. I'm good. I'll pass. <laughs> as, he, as he responds. Really? In the chat. Alive. Which chat? The, okay. the one. If it was finals, that's that's perfectly all right. Which? No, it's not. Oh. I understand. Sometimes finals can be intense, so. I won't judge somebody for Which is why I didn't go to college. <laughs> well, no valid queen. <laughs> but yeah, what finals? It's the end of the semester, so I'm assuming it's just a lot of homework. Um, but yeah, because our term just started, but I think their no, term. No, they were actually they were, they were hosting a test at 9 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't put it past the art school. <laughs> All right, um, so I will end the stream here. Um, thank you for those who showed up. Thank you for watching in the VOD, and have a good night. Night night. Night chat. Night chat. <laughs>